to say to me? It's not even showing up. Come on, fucking. This one, right? Here we go. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs>
back. Is it not working? No, I'm just talking to myself. I'm s it's supposed to be the, um, season two, uh, music. It's not, uh, it's just off of YouTube. Is it not working? What do you mean disconnected saxophone? Is the sound not bad? Okay. so pissed if it's not like well 
I'm gonna check it out on my phone. I don't know why I have. What are you looking for? Oh my god. Are you trying to get something? Let me see it. Are you sure? Sounds good now. It's going to cool. Oh. You're like, where the fuck's the one? Okay. I just want to double check. You pushed all my shit around. Just leave them. Just leave them. So many different os. It should have just been. I just pulled up whatever the hell was on YouTube. Come on. And it's not supposed to be for standing up. That's why. It's more of a toy than it is a shelf thing. I can't even fucking. God damn it! I hate this shit. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad. It does it. Hold on, let me turn it down. Does it sound echoey at all? I'm, I'm trusting you to tell me this information. Okay. I mean, literally, I'll, I'll just. It was just something on YouTube, so I. It should have been just season two. Also, I. It's literally, I think, I think, just a playlist of, um. I just put whatever on because I had to take a shit so bad. <laughs> I'm just like, dog is shitting IRL as we speak. Good to hear it. No, look at this. Excellent, excellent. You didn't close my door. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Fucking Christ. My brain is like all over the place right now I don't even have my other monitor set up either <laughs> where the hell okay I'm glad you're hyped because I literally don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> That's why you're hyped, because I don't know what's going on. Sounds about right. Okay. Um, boom. Wait, hold on. Oh, you knew everything already? Damn. I have this on here. No, I, I don't know anything except for that I know it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna move this like a little bit smaller. Oh, and I got a fucking in the week I've haven't streamed I got like several followers which is chill I don't know if they've played so I'll just that was from like 12 days ago the Starcrossed Fool and then last night I got one from Psionic Gamer 9 the local so I'm like okay that's cool alright let me God damn. I don't even have the game loaded. <laughs> what? Yes. 
<laughs> what? I open the game and it's performing first time setup. What the fuck is it installing, bro? That's bizarre. The other games never. Solix kept becoming a clutch. Shut. Up. Oh, shut up. No. No homestuck jokes allowed. I'm banning you. What is it the fucking installing on my computer? You load up Sam and Max season three and it's just a virus. Oh my god, what is it doing? Can y'all see <laughs> what? Hold on. Um Whoa, why does it look like that? That is so weird. I don't I know you can't see anything, but I can. I'm gonna turn it into windowed mode. Subtitles on. Okay, where's the s okay, so it doesn't help. These are the fucking craziest settings I've ever seen. Full screen. Oh, there we go. Hello? What? Did it just- <laughs> What? It, it looks way different than the other games, though. I'm, like, confused about that. It just, like, closed itself. What the fuck? Okay. runs way differently like in terms of why well, I can't see the fucking options there's not they don't follow the same rules oh Jesus there we go okay well this is I can't even fucking just wait oh that's um concerning Well, let's try loading that again. That was bizarre. It's showing something. I'm just not sure. I also can't hear anything. I don't want to start it yet, because... Hold on. Open notebook? Max mode? I'm just in the settings. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Hello? You could play this on controller? That's crazy. Okay. Um, and it's also like very small on my screen. I guess I'll leave it full screen on. Let me make it bigger maybe. Holy shit. Um, how big can I go? Because that's... The fu- The- The re- The resolution is like completely fucked up. Okay, hold on. Now that I have it open... Let's- Oh, what is it doing? Come on. The only option, other than like a couple things, is season 2 Telltale Games for Sam and Max. Like in terms of the game. It won't let me... Even though it's... What the fuck is up with... <laughs> Match title, otherwise find a window of the same type, maybe? That's... Yeah, I know you're not seeing anything. Hold on. Are you seeing it now? No. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is, um... Weird. Well, I'm gonna... Whoa, 
that's not it. That's really small. I think that's the good. Ah, uh, no, that looks shitty. Whatever, I don't care that much. Actually, let me turn my graphics down just a tad because my computer does not like me. Let's remove the capture window. Um. Okay, what is it doing now? Hold on. Fucking, I hate OBS sometimes. Okay, let's just look at this. Christ! Like, I haven't had issues with this for a while, so now I'm like, ugh. Why is it so big? I can't even fucking click. Hold on. Man, fuck this. <laughs> what do we move the capture window? Like. Yeah, but my computer can't handle the graphics. Like, even just in the menu, it's already, like... Okay, well, there's that. Hold on. There's my settings. I don't even fucking see... Okay. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna delete... Well, I don't wanna delete it. Elgato's not it. VR capture's not it. Yeah, I'm trying to do that, but it's not showing up. It should show up automatically. And it's, like, the window, and the window is not showing up at all. I don't know, you're losing me a little bit. Um... I'm gonna try game capture. I don't always like using it, but that might help. Hold on. Let's try this. Anything. Anything at all. God damn it. Oh, there we go. God, that took forever. <laughs> what the fuck? And also, like, I'm not hearing music either. I don't know if, um... That's... Well, it should be, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm just gonna go for it, and if it fucking doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Like, I can hear it. Can y'all hear anything? I mean, there's also no sound right now, so... Huh. That's really... Like, the menu is dead silent to me. I don't know why. Other than a couple... You can't hear anything, because I can hear, like, clicks, but... Oh, you know what? Hold on, I bet I know. Yeah, let me check. I know what the problem is. 
Well, maybe I don't. What the fuck? Like, yeah, I don't know. I'll start it, and if it doesn't work, then I'll... The menu's supposed to be like that. Like, I can hear, like, clicking sounds, but I just am not sure if... Whatever. Okay, fuck it. Do you want to start a new game? No. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to do this, actually. Let's do something else. I changed my mind. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, that slaps. That's such a cool logo. In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite? Or would we use it to destroy? Hello? Yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Tsunkate! Brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. <laughs> his ass is out. Witness Simon Max. drink not the sugar <laughs> what is going on? Dominate the entire galaxy. Bro, his nipples. Ruin the moment. Uh, wait, which one of us is the fuzzy one? It's a familiar tale. A power. <laughs> is this the fucking Twilight <laughs> Zone, bro? <laughs> and the sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. But, my friend, Boy. this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Sunkape's bizarre space suit. Only you can guide them in their quest. I don't like his face. I don't know what's going on. Justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old school freelance police style beatdown to that guy. Can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape. <laughs> Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Already, the production value is way better than both seasons. Like it is, it is, it is way better. I'm like, I'm impressed. <laughs> like, I'm kind of surprised at how good it looks. It, it look, it's completely different, but I kind of like drink from water bottle. I never drink when I'm on a case. Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this. Creepy cage. new brain powers? Um, try switching to Max to. How do I switch? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, the little cursor is his hand. Dank. What the fuck? The toys what? What does this mean? They just throw you into this completely like... So I'm assuming we get more powers later. Activate teleportation? Select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself. Why does it look like an FPS? <laughs> and also sad. Uh, what? There's only one option, so. Hooray! It's the freelance police. 
Why is she- is that normal? Stinky's like glitching out, is that normal? Yo, what is this? Remote control? Okay, homing beacon. Perfect. Now, That's not normal. That she's like. She's. Wait, what the fuck am I supposed to do? That. Did you really believe it would be that oh easy? really? So maybe yeah, it is yeah. just a game we're thing. Need some kind of cover to get oh really? Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gifts. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. That's fun though. I can just like get it. It's a lump of rhinoplasty, the wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. It delivers about five to ten minutes worth. What the fuck? This is so bizarre. What? Choose a picture of the thing he wants to turn into? Um, Grant, being that it's. Okay, that is so weird. Turn into that object. You can click to. This is so weird. Oh my god. Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, freelance. Why? Why? <laughs> why can he do this? Do they explain it, or do they just keep it like? Eh, he just is like this now. This is fucking crazy. Oh, you can use the wasp. What you've done with the place, my queen. <laughs> what the fuck? Now what? Now we just use the remote control Mama Fossil gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Haha, <laughs> penis zone. Oh, what? Highlight the penal zone remote control and then click on activate icon. Ha I can't just do this? Okay. I don't know what it was trying to get me to do, but... <laughs> well done, Sam and Max. I'm far too strong to be captured again. 
Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up here? The door's locked. Hmm. I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was in prison, your friend Fucking Lomax, what? was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. What the fuck, bro? You can walk freely, you're on your own. Okay. So what did- What did I just do? What does it mean by hint level? Oh, that's weird. I can't click anymore? It just it gives me this? It gives me like a- A fake joystick. That is so weird. It's a little disorienting. A disorienting. Kind of cool though. Poor Harry. General Skunke put him in this penny conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. <laughs> even if you can't hear the glass, Sam, the sunlight has made it even more gross than usual. Oh my God, his nipples! <laughs> oh God, how often Max says random heads. Okay, that that makes sense. Um, what did he just tell me to do? I'm totally lost. I'm gonna do that again. Hey, Harry, do you have a phone or something we can borrow? Oh, what? That's weird. Got him under a super it's horrible. How do I skip dialogue? Okay, well, I don't know what to- Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, I just got a little stuff on the notebook. Hold on. If you turn it up all the way, he never shuts up. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's fun. I might change that later because that's that's hilarious. I don't know what um. Man, I can't just shoot randomly anymore. That's so sad. It's enough that they know I have a gun. What the fuck? That's disappointing. Um. I never drink when I'm on a case. I'm confused. <laughs> I can't believe all the wacky hijinks that led to this climactic showdown. It'll probably be more believable once we've seen it all in order. Memory is fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure this is all your fault, Max. What can I say, Sam? Alien ships love to abduct me. It's not my fault I look so probable. How are we going to knock General Skunk back into the penal zone? If you're an evil space gorilla and you know it, clap your hands. Fiend is more clever than we ever imagined. God. Yeah, I don't know either. This is cool though. I love the UI. It's like, it's so, but it's so different. I'm kind of like trying to remember. Can he do anything? Why is there a dolphin? That was weird. Um. Oh wait a minute. There's a. Oh shit. Max, the playing cards have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Ew. Only you can take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. <laughs> That's fun. So is that not working anymore? Right? Right. We'll have to find another way to get upstairs. Do we have to get upstairs? Hold on. So now I'm, I'm just not gonna even point and click anymore. I'm just gonna walk <laughs> with the arrow keys. So what if we did that to... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Don't let them break you, Harry! Your name is Harry Lohman. Your serial number is 248-3562. Your cell number? 
<laughs> he looks so confused. Can play with the psychic toys. Oh boy. We need more than just a picture of a space presume in the room. That's gonna be all that's gonna take me literally like eight hours of just messing around with it though. Nope, I don't want to do that. Just got an idea. Ray, can you modulate the lower quadrant tachyon emitters to emit a two-thirds pulse stream? But that would generate a zeta wave strong enough to rip through the Van de Graaff polarity. Ah, which would create a pocket universe in which Skunk Ape doesn't even exist. Brilliant. I'll get right on it. Wait a second. That doesn't even make sense. It sounded good, though. I can make him spin around. But I don't want to talk to the guy, I want to click on shit. Whatever. Oh shit, okay. Looks like Stargate is about 300,000 miles overdue for an oil and filter change. A mood. In a better world, aliens and Earthlings would be able to unite under our shared love of really cool guns. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I am completely lost to what's going on here. Um... Mind reading. I know what you're doing, Max. Cut it out. That's lame. Um, can I walk? I can. I can only just like move around. I the the FPS like feel of. Max mode is just crazy. I just. What is that? What the fuck? You just. I did see a gun on the wall. Oh, that's not. 
I don't know what to do about that. You see these things. Oh shit, okay, I figured it out. Why are there just random images? I'm obsessed with these. Oh, um, I think this would be better to do. That's fun. Oh my god, he's walking around! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, I'm walking, I guess he's more just wobbling around. Hello? What did it. Lock and load, Max. Careful with that trigger finger, Sam! Hey, Skunky! Say hello to my little buddy. <laughs> Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future. The first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you. Horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its foul tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this is so good. Away the toys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember to use those because, like, I'm just- I'm not used to that. I'm used to just clicking random shit and figuring it out eventually. I saw it too, somehow. Weird. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly <laughs> alien brain in a jar, Did your and an evil space trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. Oh my god. Is it really? <laughs> I have come to you with a message of peace and love. That's so wild. Eh, sorry about that building. We've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friend, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. 
This non-linear storytelling is wild. Like, I'm kind of used to it, ago, but it's just... On a street very it's much wild. Like oh. this one. What happened to Bosco's? You've got a phone call. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. <laughs> No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. What is my fault this time? <laughs> One gaping, treacherous crack in the street, and those pansies from City Hall took down the whole block. What's that, Commissioner? God. A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? Yeah. Well, we didn't have anything to do with that. for us to solve? Okay, then. We'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. What the fuck? Shit I ever seen. Super Bowl! Hell yeah. I've missed you. Hello, sir. Mr. President. High risk of unprovoked song and dance President, routines. God. You are the ruler of this planet? Oh no, I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working together well to here, achieve. Sir. You can speak freely. Okay, yeah, I'm in charge, pretty much. <laughs> Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see it, pal. Yes, of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for an artifact of interest to my people. Hmm. Oh, this is weird. I kind of miss the old, like, text boxes, though. But. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble peoples of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! Oh my god, I'm gonna watch that later. I don't know what you clipped, but... Oh, it does? That's cool, though. Because I always like, ah, oh, shit, I clicked on that already, and then I just skipped through it real What's quick. What's this but... about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yog Sogop. One of hundreds oh my God. of magical toys. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I hate that I know what that's from. Wait. Immediately, my brain's like, oh, that's a Cthulhu thing. How do I know that? A fucking mechanism song. Christ. Scattered throughout the galaxy by the great comet. It's believed to give the holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just, he was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and oh, I was Oh, that's what he just saw. Thing. Okay, gotcha. It gets pretty awkward. That's wild. What are you doing here, Agent Superball? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? Heck if I know. As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else. Oh my well, god. I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myths and legends, that kind of thing. You're 
not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no, I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy, and muggy world. The air dancing with oh, shadows so Florida. of mosquitoes. Just say Florida, the my man. The of the nights punctuated only by the mewling of infants. Just say Florida. <laughs> drunken revelries of man. toothless <laughs> Its name would be impossible for your earth tongue. It's, it's, it's just Florida. For my people. What? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, that got me a little too good. I was like, oh my god, that's Florida, haha. This bitch said straight up just said pizza cola. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. If the option isn't s grand, there's more dialogue. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's so fucking funny. Funny that you bring up Super Ball Fox Mulder because I have hold on. Because I have both of those images just straight up in here. I have this one. Where'd it go? I have this one still. And then I have a uh, where'd it go? And I have this one. <laughs> so they're just there for me to look at. Fucking Christ. I can't believe this. Huh? What'd you do? Uh, he's getting you to do that too? Andrew is complaining at dinner like, Dad's getting me to do these Sudoku puzzles that are harder than normal Sudoku. Maybe try some Picross. So we can just walk right on your spaceship whenever Picross we Picross is great. Of course. The miracles of my technology are welcome to everyone. Kind of, it's like you make a picture. To your planet's mole people. It's, it, I have a. It's a game. So I I have the Picross games. I have um, Nintendo Switch Online has Super Mario Picross. That's pretty fun. Um, I also have that Murder by Numbers game. That's also like an Ace Attorney type game where you like solve mysteries, but. The clues that you solve are like Picross puzzles. And that is a little, it starts out easier and it kind of tells you how to do it a little bit better. So I would start with that one. But, dude, come here. Look how different this looks. This is season three. <laughs> it's way different. So, about this artifact. Yes, you have found it? Not as far as you know, but just for fun. Um, that's, um, so Skunkape. It's a legendary He's an alien from Pensacola. To the power to predict his enemy's every movement, manipulate the economies and like governments, a weaker worlds, avoid is, death. You don't know what a skunk ape is? Like, it's like a... Puzzles using unconventional combinations of everyday items and crush what is anyone like? who stands in his way! <sighs> but, uh... <laughs> Feels like a gorilla in a suit. A like a I would suit. simply give it away to my nephew. In Canada. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm just now realizing. Is that why Skunk Ape is called Skunk Ape? Because of this? That's who That's who made the remaster, right? Is, is that, That's what they're called? The dev team? Am I getting that correct? Because I'm now realizing. What's the story behind your whole Mole Man fixation? <laughs> it's no fixation. General Skunkape is a friend to That's all so creatures of the galaxy. From the greatest ape to the tiniest, most insignificant and pitiable mole man. Hey, we know the most insignificant <laughs> and pitiable mole man. Okay. On every planet I visit, all of the local mole people are invited to ride what? my fantastic gamma beam to a wonderful off-world vacation they'll never forget. I don't know where you're getting your ideas about that them. from. I don't kill them. God. Take a look at their logo. Hold on, I gotta do that right now. I don't know if 
Wh where are you? What are you reading? That's. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's just him. That's hilarious. I didn't know that. The mole man? Yeah, why is he? Um, you, yes, he's in, uh, he first shows up in the Mafia episode, but it's just his face and he's in like a big suit. But then outside of the suit, he's a little tiny mole man guy. He's actually, they were just talking about him in this too, so that's why it kind of kind of threw me off. Why is Snowgate such a freak about mole man eater? Where are these fabulous off world vacations exactly? Why, any planet you can imagine. <laughs> Ludo? That's not a planet, Max. The planet of nubile Amazon priestesses bathing in rivers of chocolate and coffee? Um, sure. Why not? Sure, why not? What's the home world security threat level, Super Bowl? It's currently hovering between Candy Apple and Fire Engine Red, sir. Now keep you updated. <laughs> so you're planning to just find your magic toy and leave the planet peacefully, right? The Earth's Chamber of Commerce has a selection of coupons for discounted dining and entertainment during your stay. Oh my god. Find my toy and leave? Of course not. <laughs> Stay frosty, Max. This is the part where he loses it and rips his mask off or eats a live mouse or something. Roger that. I'll get my video camera. I would never leave without sharing the technology of I my I feel like that's a reference to something, but I don't remember what it's called. But fascinating people. Oh, what the hell is it called? There's a... It was a movie, I think. That's an older movie about aliens. And then a couple years ago... At least like five years ago, they made a TV sh like they remade into a TV show that like wasn't great. Like I remember my dad watching it, and like they didn't continue it because it just wasn't you know this is one of those TV shows. But it was like aliens that come to Earth and they like seem normal, but they're also like lizard people that like eat. Like I think the climax of the movie was someone like, finding out like that that they like eat people because they like turn into a lizard and like eat like an animal or something. So I'm I'm assu I don't remember what it's called and it's gonna drive me nuts that I don't remember but I feel like that's what that is referencing. I see because I resemble I your Earth gorillas. You assume I want a <laughs> banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. <laughs> We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. <laughs> he said, "For you, really gonna do a microaggressions to me?" That's funny. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. All right. We'll, uh, let you know I have to look up what this damn movie is called, though. After it's kind of fucking great. After clearing through the nuts. Department of Homeworld Security first, just a formality. Go in peace. Oh, maybe it was a TV. Is it that it? Oh, were they both TV shows? It was just called V. The series was from '84 to '85. The remake was in 2009. Crazy. Yeah, oh my- what the fuck? These lizard people look fucked up. That's gotta be what it is, right? My brain is like... Whatever. It's not that important. I'm just... From Sam of all people hypocrisy. What is he doing? Any luck finding that artifact? No, but my best minions and research assistants are on the case. Have you seen it? Uh, no, but I've got my best Max on the case. Okay, We're done talking now. Wait, pause, don't move, okay? To the... Where? Where? I don't- You're- You're insane! What are you talking about, hella ass? I see- There's nothing there. I can't see- I can't even see it! Shut up!
I'm gonna Should make the phrase drag in a wagon blocked in my chat. You can't and say I'm that. Especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like the Aptus did. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. So, Bossos is just not. Bosso Tech Labs. Visit our new location. Wow. Oh, so Mama Bossos too good to haunt our street anymore? Well, this is kind of a bad neighborhood to be a ghost. All the best cemeteries are on the other side of town. Okay, okay, okay. You can't come in here and, and pull me into this argument that Sam hasn't asked. This is ridiculous. How dare you? <laughs> Your weird is a cutting. I can't believe you would say that to me. I hope they finish the repair work on our building soon. I miss taking showers. They just we can't get into just give ourselves tongue baths like cats and flight attendants do. Well, Gross. okay, I guess. Just be careful around the back of my neck. That's where I'm most prone to tie rash. Can I not walk this way? This is... Hello and welcome no, to I don't want to... I know what picture you're talking about. No, I'm not going to do that. I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the crime hyphen Thrawn XL at no cost to you. How do you- how- I know you have mod privileges, but I think I'm gonna ban you if you, you, you <laughs> keep saying this shit. You're pretty sure he's evil. That guy is a total heat sink. <laughs> A real motherboard. He thought everybody else liked him except for us. So-called advanced technology is going to make thousands of hard-working computers and robots lose their jobs. When buying technology, look for the made on Earth label. <laughs> what? What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced crime stoppers will emerge victorious. The myths were gathered from your investigations, and we will analyze the living hell out of them. Let's try out the Crimetron right now. We're sorry, the Crimetron XL may not yet be available in some areas. We are still recruiting members for the COPF. <laughs> we talked about this. That dog is straight up creepy. I love them. Now, talking to you guys is great and all, but could we have our car back? Like Stop. Okay. Flat ass best club. friend. How dare you? Hey, Sam, isn't our car still possessed by demons? It is not so bad as long as you, you can't come in here and fucking <laughs> roast my ass. Literally. How are you guys supposed to help us fight crime? Yeah, you're not even as powerful as a cell phone. Max, that was completely uncalled for. With my 1-6-M-8-G of raw power, I am able to analyze data at speeds rivaling the most advanced pocket calculators. And what do you do? I'm a functional telephone, and that's about it! <laughs> yeah, what happened to the what fucking, to uh... Blaster Blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has arcade traveled guy. with user Bosco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money. Lobster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimpercar. We cannot go to the investigation is pending. What the fuck? Alright, well that's it for that, I guess. See ya, cops. End of line. Okay, yeah, that- <laughs> Fucking Christ.
I can get things. Why do we have jumper cables? Neither of us knows how to use them. It's Bitch, it's not hard. The red cable goes on the right nipple, <laughs> and the black cable clamps to the Neither of us knows how to use them. <laughs> Horrible. Hello, and oh, no, I already talked to them. I don't want to talk to them anymore. See you, cops. End of line. Oh shit, okay. What the fuck? That's cool. Are they supposed to be in like a New York area? Or is it like, or at least New York inspired? I mean, if it is, it's really interesting. I don't know. Assault Park City. I mean, being that they have Queens, fake Brooklyn, and fake Hell's Kitchen, so... I don't know. It's literally just New York? Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, this is- I mean, I've only been there, like, once, but this is basically what it looks like. You know, diners, convenience stores, giant gorilla shaped uh, spaceships seems like what i remember so you know Sinky's diner in the mood for some delicious nutritious food max not at all then we've come to the right place only thing they're missing is more bags of trash just literally everywhere Stinky's Diner, the perfect place to catch up with old friends. And meet new ones, like emergency medical technicians and the friendly folks at Poison Control. Use pay This phone only accepts Dutch Gilder coins. Sorry, Sam. All I've got are some yuan, a few euros, and six bucks in Italian lira. Where do you keep all that change? In my sock, of course. You're naked. Where do you keep your sock? That's none of your damn business. <laughs> Is anybody gonna eat this? Analyze milkshake. Strawberry? Eat juice and ham. Ew. That's gross. Hmm. We still haven't added banjo and bagpipe fantasia or anything by Max's favorite Chilean new metal bands. It's almost like those 42,000 comments and suggestions cards I filled out were a waste of time. Chilean new metal sounds fucking cool as hell, though. I listen to that. Whee! Don't forget you can switch to Max. Oh, yeah! Whoa. I mean, all I can do is future vision right now. Okay, he's straight up just seeing shit. Is that a chainsaw or is that a wrench? There's a bug. There's lots of wrenches and tools. That is really weird. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's bizarre. I don't know what this means. Oh. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Perfect. I'll leave right away. What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Mmm. You really just need to passively use the toys. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So long, suckers! What about your super secret demon broth? Take it! After today, I never need to worry about money again! Wow! Would you look at that, Max? Amazing! 
Okay, weird. Gotcha, gotcha. Is it is it like that the whole season? Is that just is it just gonna be like that? Cause that's pretty wild. She looks pissed off. Oh hi, Barney and Jug Jug. Barney and Jug Jug? Ugh, you're not even trying with the names anymore, are you? Look, I've got a lot okay, going nice. on. Can I just give you your key or your crystal shard or whatever it is you're looking for? She so looks so different. Do not in a bad do. way. Like she doesn't Seriously, look. We gotta go through all the questions. What's the rule? <laughs> we gotta go through all the questions. Like she, she. I guess it's maybe the production value is a little bit better in this season than it was before because she looked like just typical for Sam and Max, like uncanny, but like still a little bit uncanny. But she actually looks like kind of decent in this one. I don't okay, know. Let's see. Like she looks I'll kind of normal. Bacon cheddar butter deluxe, heavy on the wacky sauce. Two orders of the jalapeno cheesy poofers, Rhode Island style. No, three. Okay, three. And let's throw in one of the eight bean casseroles with extra onion rings, and finish it off with a jumbo sized frosty banana mint pickle cyclone chugger Ew. with extra jimmies. Small side salad, please. Oh, and some bangers and mash. Hold the mash. I'm on break. <laughs> Me. <laughs> What happened to your fry cook? Yeah, what was his name? Sal or Pablo or Muhammad or something? You boys must be mistaken. It's always been just me here, working the kitchen, no one else. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful Grandpa Stacy's back. What the fuck? The aliens have landed. Oh, really? I haven't heard anything about that at all. Keep your guard up. We're about 99.8% sure he's evil. He's not even human! <laughs> Things must be easier now that Grandpa Stinky's back. Oh yes, it's heaven. Look at what he's doing to the place. He's totally destroying the ambiance. Yeah, this place used to be an aggravated assault on all five senses. Now it's just a misdemeanor battery. Six senses, Sam. You always have the uncanny premonition of severe stomach upset in your future. You and Grandpa Stinky should patch things up. Can't you see what it's doing to Max? I hate it when they fight! <laughs> oh, I don't think Grandpa Stinky is going to be a problem for much longer. Intriguing! I signed us up for relationship counseling and a business management seminar. No. Wild. See you again soon, Stinky. Yes, take your time. I guess having just a jukebox wasn't loud and annoying enough. Ooh, you'd like to steal my super secret demon broth recipe. Even Grandpa Stinky looks different too. Hands off. He looks like a fucked up Santa Claus. Oh good. Which you is wild because there's already the a fucked up Santa Claus in the universe. Questions. Really, really horribly we'll old. Too, Grandpa God. Inspectors ever make you wear a beard neck? What's cooking? Ooh, you'd like me to tell His you eyes look weird. I don't problems. quite. I don't like. You can like that. Steal another patent. Come on, you're not still angry about that, are you? That was like thirty years ago. The last thirty years, I could have been living off the riches from a gooey molasses tar cake. Can't you at least tell us what's in it? If you're so curious about. Pick up a can after I've made a fortune selling it to every grocery store from here to Madagascar. What's so great about that demon broth anyway? What's great is that it's nutrient rich. That it's mine and that I'm not letting you two parasites anywhere near it. Once I've perfected this recipe, I'll never need to worry about money again. Boy, Grandpa Stinky, I sure am glad to see you back working in this diner again after returning from a long time away to work with your granddaughter, who's also coincidentally named Stinky. <laughs> Was all that really necessary? Sorry, Max is all short-term memory. I have to bring him back up to speed every once in a while. Max! Ah, giant puppy dog! <laughs> <laughs> How's the diner business treating you? We know all I can do just to turn this back into a place that lures decent people in to eat. It's 
carefully placed rat droppings are one of those flourishes you don't notice until they're missing. Did you see all the decorations she scattered about? Rubbish! At least then, we had some customers. Aye, you really appeal to the lucrative insect and talking statue demographic, I'll give you that. Oh god. ADHD king. As part of the Freelance Neighborhood Watch, we're warning everybody about an alien gorilla on the street. Can you watch Street Cafe? We do well to have more of his kind in this neighborhood instead of these shiftless layabouts loitering around until somebody comes to ask them questions. Wow, I never would have guessed Grandpa Sinky was so prejudiced against non-player characters. <laughs> Happy is a true commander. He's going places. You could even see him making it to the White House. And burning it down, most likely. Just be careful here, around Stargate. Ah, you just don't trust him because he's not human. Uh, what? He's welcome here any time. My granddaughter could do a lot worse than to court a magnificent specimen like General Skunkape. Ew, gross. It must be great getting back to work with your partner again. I don't know. He's kind of cramping my style. Oh, you were talking to him. Ah, never mind. Oh, it's great. She has me working the register and making deliveries. A master chef like myself. And she won't even let me in the kitchen. I already explained, Grandpa. I just have to make it nicer so that it's, um, worthy of your skills. Ah. You and girl Stinky will be working like a Mormon oiled machine in no time. Mark my words, Boyo. Boyo? Huh. Do people really say that, Sam? That woman will be the death of me. That's the idea. What the fuck? Can't you and girl Stinky just get along? All this negative energy is bad for my psychic balance. She's the one locking a master chef like me out of his own kitchen. It won't be a problem after I perfect my recipe and make me fortune. No, that didn't sound like a fucking Scrooge McDuck line. What the fuck? Isn't it kind of overkill <laughs> to have a radio and a jukebox? Anything to drown out the noise my granddaughter calls music. It ruins the digestion. To be fair, Sam, stinky food does require you to be 100% focused on digestion. What station are you listening to? There'll be only one station worth listening to in the greater New York area. WSNT. You're listening to WSNT. All CCNT. Oh, fuck yeah. Donald Scrooge Gem Fusion? Oh, you're, you're correct, because he's all... Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> As he just said, he listens Stage to nothing but CCNTs. Sinky. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I have to do a joke. Hold on, I have to do a joke. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Bitch, that didn't turn the music off. Hold on. It'll be worth it, just <laughs> Okay. I swear to god. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I gotta. I gotta look up something. This is important. Shit, what I just do? Can y'all hear it? I hope you can hear it. What I just. <laughs> I 
I love the music in this game. It's so great. It's so, like, it sets the mood. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it really just, uh... Oh my god, look at him go. <laughs> Good. <laughs> look at that footwork, holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that fucking footwork. That's enough. <laughs> Get the shit out of here. I don't even know what- I think that I just- If you just look up Sea Shanty 2, like half of them are trap remixes. So I was like, you know what, let's go back and do that. Okay. God. I- I- I'm sorry, I- you know I had to. Since Dress Sinky took over Friday the night footwork, Super signature God. fries have gotten marginally more edible. The insect bits give the dough that extra bit of crunch. Ew. I'm assuming that's everything I need to do in here. So I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I can't wait to watch that later. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. The subway. Oh my god! Uh, hello, puppy! Hello, puppy! Hello! Sheesh, some more people are taking their own sweet time. Hello! Ah! Uh, well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the mutant alligators union. Those guys are notorious loafers. Why are you in here? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Can you say hi? Speak. There we go! Yeah! So loud, big baby. What do you want? What are you doing? I can't even keep my door closed because my dog can just bust through. It's like not even. No, nah, get out of there. Stupid. Of course, she can't close the door. She just can push them open. Baby, hello. One animal leaves, one one returns. Wall of cartridges. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. People still haven't cleared away all those old mine super cartridges. Clear them away? They're vintage collector's items. Mark my words, Sam. One day those games are going to be worth pennies. Lincoln, what are you? Lincoln sculpture. 
four square and seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Hey, come here. Jeez, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of pudding. Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. Hey, did you guys see Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. Lincoln made out of pudding. That's wild. Um. Oh, that's unpleasant. You. Well, now I just want to know how we get over there. <laughs> Me too. Knowing us, it's probably something clever, but overly complicated. Jesus. What the fuck? Next. How do I go back? There we go. It's too far away to see if there's anything interesting and or useful in there. Cause I'm, f I'm fucking hilarious. Some kind of mysterious tunnel. Too bad we can't I can't wait to see what you clipped. Oh my god. Whoa. Nothing over here. Okay. So that doesn't help me right now. Uh, okay, this is useless to me right now, so. Wah, 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 wah. Do it! What's stopping you, coward? Just replay it. I mean, I could just go on it, right? It's General Skunkate's horrible spaceship. Good likeness. Yeah, okay, let's just go in the spaceship. Your schedule? That's fair. No, you're you're completely right. <laughs> this place looks eerily familiar. Check it out, Max. The control center for invaders from distant stars. Yeah, yeah, alien spaceship. Seen it. I just want to get to the part where I have those sweet psychic powers. You just need our Brian. friend the brain to hook you up and <laughs> so sad. Oh no, he's dead. Didn't he look more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. He died too soon, I'm assuming. How are we going to wake him up? We must figure out how to do it eventually, Sam. He was awake in the future. Well, that's going to be pretty clever of me. I wonder how I end up doing it. Oh, I have one idea. Dog, what are you doing? You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Well, that's encouraging. So, uh, how did we do it? Dog, no, we what are you doing? Know, what if you use that vision on me? So stinky. Oh, you got stuff on my glasses. Ew. Yeah, she just like came in here. She just Hannibal busting through. Hannibal busting through. She like scratched me really bad the other day. It was so like in my shoulder. <laughs> 
Morpheus, Orpheus, go eat some walruses. Right into your orifices. Congratulations. Red pill, blue pill, Morpheus, Horses, seashells by the seashell, sources. Blah 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 blah. Hey, it's all my stuff. What? I don't know. Hey, Are they not downstairs? Stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's uh. I mean, you could ask them if they're not asleep yet. Hey, it's all my stuff. Oh, what? So, um... You did it, Sam and Max! You awakened me from the sleep of 100... Okay, How did you do it? Easy saw. peasy. All it took was stinky steaming broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic towel. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. Oh. You gotta find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. There she goes. Oops. I keep hitting the pause button thinking that it's gonna go back and it's like not. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get out of here. Get aside, lady! Big winner coming through! Congratulations! Hey, pal, we want to ask you. I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now. Why don't I enjoy an all expensive paid off world vacation? So long, suckers! <laughs> Can't move around as Matt. Hold on, what? What just happened? And that is why we're doing a staycation this year. I totally miss what just happened. <laughs> what? What just happened? I was not paying attention, and I didn't see. Did he like did he get killed or vaporized or something? I was too busy reading the chat. So look around, and you gotta do that so much. Okay, gotcha. I'm assuming nothing good. It's locked. Did they kill him? Weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic mole man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that mole man gets oh. back Oh. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other mole men. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Check if he left his wallet. <laughs> no such luck. Okay. Yeah, he got norted. Okay. Because now they just mentioned fuel. Here, let me watch. Okay, gotcha. Okay, he got norted. Okay. Wild. Yeah, because they, they just mentioned something about an energy source thing. So, I, are they using Molmen for their energy for the spaceship, I'm assuming? Which is a wild uh, source of energy, but, you know. What's a more efficient energy source? Coal or Molmen? Science is, is still figuring that one out. Coleman. They're called miners. Coal men are just called miners. They mine for coal. I think there's nothing in- well, actually. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you know what I mean. Sleep of one. How did 
Oh, I already saw this shit. Okay. This is nothing. Okay, let's just leave. Nope, I don't want to go- No, I don't want to go there! How do I leave the spaceship? I just want to get out of here. My ass tired. Oh, here we go. That's good. It's worth it to do the same stuff with different subjects in different areas. I don't know what the fuck that means. You mean like seeing the future with Sam like multiple times? Because I've done I've done that a couple times because I, I feel like it it based on the location. So okay, so I can't I don't know what to do with Stinky, but I could get that later. So for now, let, I haven't checked out Bosco Labs yet. So let's go do that. Oh my God! What? Okay. Uh yes. What? You guys ready to help us fight crime? Somebody walked in the stinkies. Be sure to hook a brother up. Oh. I did not. Is that important? I'll have to go see who it is. Cause I didn't notice. <laughs> Fucking that guy. Hey, it's slim paper. Hey, you furry pals. Maybe Flint can help us with our case, Sam. Anytime, fellas. Except now. <laughs> Would you look at that? Stinky's prize winning spaghetti. A private dick's gotta eat, you know. Some of the characters, their eyes just look freaky. Like, yeah, I kind of always look like that. But I've noticed with, um, with the two stinkies that their eyes look a little weird. Like, they just, like, it's only pupil. Do you know anything about a missing power core, Flint? It's important Give me a break, ass. Sam. I haven't eaten a thing since that yak's blood on my Himalayan caper. Uh, and some gummy worms. Come back when I'm done eating, would ya? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't more careful. Oh, the fuck? No. Now we'll never be able to find Mama Bosco's power core. Wow, that looked painful. Everyone should have dot eyes like Sam and Max. I can see that. Wow, would you look at that, Max? Um, so that's nothing. Wait, what I just do? And those are probably the same as before. Okay. He's gonna take forever to eat his fucking spaghetti. I wanna look at the spaghetti. Stinky's award-winning spaghetti. Mentioned in the past five issues of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's Journal of Workplace Hazards. Oh, OSHA. It took me a while to, to connect the, the big, long title that he said was OSHA. Okay, um, I don't know what to do with Flint right now, so I'm gonna leave. I don't know, though. I feel like there's something, um, more memorable about having Sam and Max's characters look pretty basic in terms of cartoon, while, while everyone else looks fucked up. It makes them more likable. <laughs> I don't know if that makes- you know what I mean? It makes me think of like the prof like Professor Layton style. So Professor Layton's got like the little curvy effect. Professor Layton's got the little, you know, dot eyes too. Granted, not all of the other characters- or, or not all of his assistants and stuff do, but he does. And then all of the other characters in the game, for the most part, either look kind of normal or just completely fucked up. So. I don't know. Grandpa Stinky and his blasphemous recipes. So Bosco Tech Labs. <laughs> so 
and the main are the same. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, because I don't understand right now, but I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll get it later, because right now it's just tall eyes and hat. I miss Professor Litton. Those things are good. Spooky. Whoa, I like that painting on the... That's cool. Oh, Mama Babashko? Mama Bosco. Do not be afraid. Well, I love Mama the haunted mansion. Pass on to the other realm, but I shall attempt to establish a link to. There she is. Hey, good looking. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Brilliant scientist deceased. <laughs> Mama Bosco sends greetings from the, the city. Ethereal plane. Welcome to the land. You're my first visitor. Wait, I was your first visitor. Right. You look so sad. Wait, so when I saw you say shy gentlemanly bisexual who will fucking kill you, I didn't realize who you were talking about at first because right when I saw you say that is when <laughs> Harry Moleman showed up, <laughs> so for a second, I thought that you were talking about him. <laughs> I'm like, uh... <laughs> Fucking, um, Harry Moleman mood board. It's like a shy gentleman oh, bisexual who will fucking kill you! Sorry. You know how those spirits are once they get talking about the good old days when they were alive. God. I guess we can't make outgoing calls. I can't go down there though. Time to look. I love the fucking look of this house though. I want. I, I want my. What the fuck? My brain just shut. I want to throttle you. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, is that what that elevator thing is? I'm guessing. So holy shit, a skeleton. Is this what he sees from his angle all the time? Is he just sees that? <laughs> Cause he's so small, he just looks up and he just barely sees Sam. Oh, I didn't activate future vision yet. Like, hello? what I see. Yeah. I love the music when it's like this. It's kind of cool. It's kind of creepy. Thanks, Sam and Max. This is exactly what I need to turn my life around. Harry's got a great, big, wonderful surprise waiting for him. And to think all it took was this. Are you sure you can't make those future visions last a little longer, Max? Nah, that would take all the fun out of it. My missing power core. I knew you were the right one to find this flint paper. I was nothing. My missing power core. I knew you were the right one to find this flint paper. I was nothing. Okay, so that's the same thing. And I don't see anything else right now, so. Do, 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 do. It's Mama Bosco's dimensional destabilizer thing. What's that green button? Dimensional destabilizer? Why are you wanting to destabilize the dimension? Bring the elder gods back to this dimensional plane. <laughs> what? Oh. What happens if you double click it? Why does she want to do that? It's Mama Bosco's dimensional disable. Okay, that's wild. 
She's like, maybe you won't want to bring the other guys back. You know, uh, I'm already dead. Like, wouldn't hurt. I mean, I feel bad, I guess. General Stunkate's fabulous off-world vacations? What mole man hasn't heard about it? It's the talk of the five boroughs. Why don't you go try it out? I was at a job interview when they gave out the tickets. By the time I got back, it was already too late. What are you doing here, Harry? I'm working as Mama Bosco's lab assistant. I never hired him. She says I'm perfect for the job. But you don't know anything about science. Or hygiene. Which means I'll never go mad and take over the lab for my own twisted experiments. I'm perfect. I thought you already had a job. Apparently, there was some kind of power shakeup. I got laid off. You guys aren't looking for another partner, are you? We'll uh, keep your resume on file in case there's an opening. If you can talk to the dead, then maybe you know about psychic powers? Sam's worried about my brain because I can see the future now. Psychic powers? There's no such thing. They just made that up to sell documentary TV series back in the 70s. <laughs> see, Sam, there's nothing to worry about. Well, unless they're caused by a giant deadly tumor. Are you sure that you're, uh, compatible with Mama Bosco? Of course. I've been blessed with the unique ability to communicate with the recently deceased. Only you can see me, huh? How many fingers am I holding up? Only one! Ha! See? I am... Uh... You know, Harry, we can all see and hear Mama Bosco. That's just a manifestation of the unconscious. Oh, who am I kidding? You're right. I'm just useless. Come on, Harry. You're not just useless. He's right. You're totally useless. Oh my god. See you around, Harry. And cheer up. You'll get what's coming to you. Oh my what god. And ghosts. Why well, if you're afraid of ghosts, why are you working here? Oh, Moman Tunnel. Oh What can I do for you boys? Dr. Mama Bosco, your lab Talk is actually Mama pretty Bosco. impressive. Bosco's inventions always kind of, well... Uh, sucked. Yes. Well, he was always a special boy. <laughs> Jesus. You heard from Bosco? He sent a few postcards. He and that bluster blaster machine finally made it to Las Vegas. I didn't know Bosco liked gambling. He said he's got a system. Plus $15 billion left over from the money that some idiots gave him for his invention. <laughs> I'm sure those idiots had very good reasons. <laughs> How's the afterlife treating you, Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Dr. Mama Bosco. I spent the summer getting my PhD online. Yeah, I right. started to do that, but I kept getting distracted by all the funny cat pictures. You don't know how to use computers. Max. Audio quiet. Well, what's your doctorate in, Mama Bosco? Bro, you're in the next you room. Just <laughs> gap to return spirits to their I'm sure you're bad. Forms. How's the my audio quiet? I mean, it's a little bit, but. Ah! Game quiet? I mean, just turn your sound up. I don't know. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay, got you. I don't know where anyone is, ever, so. Sounds like you're tired of being a ghost. Oh, it's not all bad. I'm getting better at apparating. And now I don't leave a trail of ectoplasmic slime behind every time I leave the room. That's better than Sam can say. But I'll be glad when I finish my dimensional destabilizer and get my body back. I miss touching things. Yeah, touching is my third favorite thing to do to things. In case anyone was curious, second is licking. God. Do you happen to know anything about a power core? Where did you hear about that? From magazines? About pamphlets? Hmm. I had a power core stolen from my lab. Who do you think stole your power core? No idea. I've got a, um real detective on the case, though. Detective. It's a good thing we're trying to steal it, too, or we'd be offended by that remark. Couldn't have come at a worse time, either. I've almost got my dimensional destabilizer working, but the dimensional rift generator is useless without power. 
Man, if I had a nickel for every time I didn't understand what you just said. What's the deal with Harry Molman? I don't know. Some things science can't explain. If you're asking why he's here, he's been pestering me to be my research assistant or something. The friendly spirit says she can only speak through her trusted medium. Give it up, Harry. Sorry. You're a doctor. Can you tell us anything about late-onset male psychic dysfunction? Psychic powers? It's probably a melon-sized deadly tumor. Probably? Well, it could be mind worms, of course. But I don't want to be alarmist. Most likely, it's the deadly tumor. <laughs> How did Joe know? Uh, I think it's on... If you scroll down... I don't know if you're on mobile or not. It's, um, it should just say donate, and you just click the box, and it goes to, I think, PayPal or Streamlabs or something. Which, again, don't know why you would want to do that when I see you in real life, but, I mean, it's your prerogative, I guess. Couldn't Max just have the perfectly safe kind of non-lethal psychic powers? Oh, it's Max. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, then. Could you, uh... Have him stand a little farther away from my machines, though. Are these psychic powers dangerous for Max at all? Well, probably not, if he's careful and only uses them responsibly. And what if it's Max? Well, he'll overwork I mean, his brain care. so much Nobody that he catches fire oh, and explodes. So oh, I have got it's to okay, see I that. Have to you your can't see account, that, Max. So. Your brain will catch fire and explode. I'll just, I'll just well, that's why you'll have to record it for me, Sam. Duh. The new lab is, um, nice? Thanks for saying so, but it needs work. Do you have any idea how hard it is to- It is a dyer's mm. market! I had to start reading the exorcism listings in the paper just to find a lead on this place. Why didn't you just set up your lab in the inconvenience store? Not everything happens on your street, Sam. Besides, that place isn't zoned for mixed-use content. They've got guys from the city coming by every day to evict me from this place. Only way to get rid of them is by making the walls bleed. Did you hear about the alien gorilla that landed on our street? Yeah, it came through on the news alert. Something about sharing alien technology and ending all poverty and disease on Earth, right? Well, yeah, but that's just one part of why he's evil. I'm sure he's fine. I'm even gonna ask him if he can help me finish my dimensional destabilizer. Hmm. I'd be careful around that general skunk ape. You two don't trust anybody, do you? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what are you trying to pull? Just wait till he helps me with my inventions. Then you'll see he's not such a bad guy. Yeah, but your inventions aren't good. You're literally trying to rip dimensions what apart. What did this power core thing look like? What a question. It looks like a power core. You know, that's like asking what a Vanderpoop particle emitter looks like. Okay, that's enough. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Not if I can get this destabilizer working. Uh, what does describe hard hat mean? That construction worker would have wanted us to have his hard oh, hat. Oh, that's weird. I know what would cheer you up, Harry. An all-expenses-paid vacation. You actually have one of Skunkopi's golden tickets? Well, that's a nice gesture, but I don't take charity. I'd have to give you something in return. Okay, fine. What have you got? Oh, it came from Lots of stuff. That's cool. like it. Mm. Nothing you'd want. Hey, neat. The eerie oozing remains of Mama Bosco's ghostly visitations. Oh, that must be ectoplasmic jelly, cause ectoplasmic jam don't shake like that! <laughs> I can't tell if that's something Mama Bosco invented, or an award Mama Bosco got for inventing something. Either way, it's pretty impressive. Charmingly outdated science textbooks. From oh, the gosh. Earth to the elaborate moon landing hoax. No way. I didn't think they'd come out with the XKJS3 model yet. This baby is eight times as fast and has 18 USB slots. What does it do? No idea. 
18 years of being slaughtered. If these findings are true, then that would mean it's scientifically impossible for Max and me to exist. Oh, no, wait, uh, I was reading it wrong. What the fuck? This thing does science so hard, you say, I've never seen that much science. And it's all, check this out, and then, boom, more science. God. This thing does science so hard, you say, I've never oh, seen... I just clicked on that. Let's see, is Max anything to say? Thanks, Sam and Max. This is exactly what I need to turn my life around. Harry's got a great, big, wonderful surprise waiting for him. And to think all it took was this. Are you sure you can't make those future visions last a little longer, Max? Oh, that would take all the fun out of it. I love his little angry eyebrows. Small women of outer space, the love digger is on his way. <laughs> My missing power core. I knew you were the right one to find it, Flint Paper. Ah, it was nothing. It's gonna take some real detective work to track down that missing power core. Being that Harry is still in the vision when he gets power core back, I probably still, I, I don't think I will be able to deal with him yet. So I'm not going to worry about it. Yet. But. Harry must have dug his way in here. They say they don't like to be in bright sunlight, but I say it's just an excuse to do more property damage. A brilliant excuse. Hey, Max, why don't you hop in there and see where it leads? Yeah, sure. Crawl through a narrow tunnel to nowhere oh, filled okay. with Harry Mole Man's four. Great idea. I feel like I got everything in this area. Now it's too loud. She totally did. She's not even here. Like I I think she yeah, I think she left. She's not even home. She's like I'm I'm assuming cuz if she's watching it, I don't think she's at work. Or she's probably at her fucking boyfriend's house. I'm like, you don't have anything better to do than to come on here for 2 seconds and bully me. <laughs> like woke up and chose violence. Yeah, that's that's her. Woke up and chose gaslight geeky girl boss. God. Oh, your game's too quiet. How do you donate? Bitch, <laughs> why are you trying to donate to me? Just give me cash next time you see me if you really want to give me money. I bet, okay, knowing her, she would donate money to me and then she would ask for it back later. <laughs> because she thinks she's being funny. Though. Which is like, whatever. I'm not expecting, like, money or anything but I don't even think I have it set up all the way because I think one person donated a well, I don't know if, I don't think it was you I think it was someone else donated a dollar to see if I get media shares working and then I think it ended up getting refunded because I couldn't set up my PayPal to connect to my bank in time and it just like fucking broke so I'm like whatever I don't 
I don't need it. It's not urgent for me, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Why? Because, like, I already I... saw all this shit. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about this right now. But I... So I can't... Must have dug his way in here. They say they don't like to be in... I can't go in there, though? That's clearly the way to get into other things. can later. Well, that's lame. I want to do it now. Oh. I wonder what's in here. Don't open it, Sam. It probably leads to a fantastic land of wonder and thinly disguised <laughs> religious allegory. Good call, Max. We already wasted <laughs> enough time poking around that toll booth. Oh my god, that's funny. Ah, oh, I don't know what the hell that means. Did y'all ever read the Narnia books? I didn't read them. They were- the series was bought for me, and then I read, like, the very first one, and then that's it. And the first one was also, like, weird because the movies, like, they made, it's- it's like they don't do all of them. They start with the second book, I think. So, like, they skip around. And so the first one's, like, not even about, like, those characters. It's, like, the old guy's, uh... I don't know, nephew or some shit. I don't remember. It's, it's like, different characters. And it's, like, way, like, hundreds of years before. I don't know. N Narnia's weird as hell. <laughs> My favorite, like, Tumblr post that is, like, someone role-playing as, as Aslan and then mobs... Uh, from Mob Psycho shows up, and he gives him a sprite, and then he <laughs> like that. That one's my favorite. He goes, "Ah, oh, sprite, fucking good." <laughs> That's my favorite post. Or he's like, "Can I have some Sierra Mist?" And he's like, "Uh, I don't have Sierra Mist. Will Sprite be okay?" He's like, "Holy shit, a talking lion." <laughs> and he's like, "That's fine." He's, "Ah, oh, sprite, fucking good." <laughs> Like, I just- I think of that constantly. It's just such a good pose. My- I think my favorite brand of Tumblr posts are, are like, people trying to roleplay and then people, like, messing with that. Between- like, I'm going to explore, I'm going to. There's also, like, the pony one where someone tries to, like, roleplay as Rarity Ooh, and then there's someone tries to roleplay you know as, like, the weed top, the weed smoking pony who's like, dude, are we talking horses? What the fuck? <laughs> Open RP genre. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The name Bosco and science go together like church and state. Oh my god. Stony pony. That's what it was. Yeah, it was, it was stony pony. I'm remembering it now. Stony Pony, you said you'd get off of the drugs, dude. <laughs> are we are we talking horses? <laughs> like they're that's so funny to me. Hey, Commissioner. Pretty cool. Not useful though. Okay, then why be able to climb up here? Hold on. Him out cold. Do it again! Do it again! Hmm. So this will be important later, I'm guessing. I can't really do anything with it right now, though. So, is this anything? I could not really use this at all. Oh, it kind of just tells you what's going on. That's cool. Oh, and it tells you all the characters! Oh, look how good that's rendered. I love that. I love this. Massive powers, boost of resistance. And that's it. Okay. Cool. We 
need smart. Okay, we. Sam had to do it to him. Weed smoking girlfriends is also really good, but that one's I don't I wouldn't even call that an open RP. Like that's that's just someone really committed to a bit. I mean it's kind of, but like the rest of them aren't like being it's not really an RP, it's just the one guy is just being like that. I don't know. That one is hilarious though. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm so mad. <laughs> I, I printed out your picture and I taped it to my punching bag and I'm punching it over and over again. I'm so angry. I'm so angry one of my weed smoking girlfriends had to calm me down. That is not a weed cigarette. That is a bunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm punching your bag with your URL written on it. Nah, I already took care of that before we left. Ha ha ha, funny. That is a bunt. Well, that knocked him out cold. I already did this one. What the fuck? Bro, why do they look like that? Two in one blow, and without any significant injuries either. Okay. Wait, is there anything else I'm missing? Banner, entrance. That's nothing. Fire escape? It's just him climbing up the fire escape. Okay, that's nothing. Um, I don't think there's anything for me over here right now, so... Oh! Yeah, I don't- I don't know, because I'm not sure what you're referring to, but... It's not plot crucial. Huh. Where would it be at? Is it in this area or? Gotcha. Okay. Well, if I miss it, you can just tell me what it is later. Cause on the roof. Oh, I mean, I'm, I, if I go back to it, then I'll see it. I guess. Deadass, I do not know what to do right now. Isn't this the object that he needs and he's just seeing me just straight up pull it out and... Oh wait, I didn't do it all the way. Okay, that's nothing. Realizing that Sybil's not here, that makes me sad. Gee, little buddy, here in 2109, our street looks pretty much the same as it did a hundred years ago. Keep moving, Earthling. Emperor Senkape the Second has demanded tribute. You used to be so much cooler, Max. God, Max, no, not the Chrysler Building. That sounds fun. I can hardly wait. <laughs> See you wherever that is, then. Oh, my love. <laughs> what? Oh, that's gotta be stinky, right? Yeah, okay, that totally is stinky he's talking to. I guess it was the... Oh, the Chrysler building part? Yeah. Um, I'm okay with the hint, because I'm, I'm kind of literally just wandering around, and I'm a little, like, confused. Sam and Max save Earth from Alien Invader. Oh, I gave away the ending. 
Max Rampage in fourth devastating week. Devastating Rampage? Just what have you got planned, Max? <laughs> Just my usual Tuesday night Rampage. Nothing that would make the newspapers. I don't see anything else that's like worth double looking at it, so. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Bro, what? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Huh. What is this about? Let me see it. It's gonna take some real detective work to track down that missing um, power Um, do you have school tomorrow? It's, fr it's Friday, so I'm good. But you still have to get up and go to school at some point. So it is 11, so I'll get... I'll help you with this, but... Okay. Um, so think about when a sun... When the sun rises... It rises, it goes, and it sets. There's a specific way so if you think about like at noon the sun is like straight up in the sky and uh at one time of the day it's over here at one time of the day it's over there so what direction is that in in the morning if you if it's the morning and the sun is just huh is that right you tell me i mean so it's one of the cardinal directions so i i would think of Use that as your hint of like in the morning when the sun is rising. Where is the sun at? What cardinal direction is the sun at? That's that will help you with that puzzle. You're gonna sit in here. That's fine. Okay. So I have an item to stop him. Oh. Just give him a hard hat. You'd feel better if you wore this hard hat, Flint. <laughs> That's swell, fellas, but... Doris would want you to have it. Ah, oh, you're right, pals. I've just been thinking of myself all this time. Hand it over. Peanuts? You know I'm allergic to peanuts, Sinky. Are you trying to kill <laughs> what? me? What? Oh, kill you? Don't be silly. <laughs> Something's fishy with that, dame. Now, what do you want to know? An intersection is when two streets connect. So, like, if you think of when you're, if you're in a car, I mean, you're, you wouldn't be driving, but when, if you're in a car that's driving, and you go, we're at a point where two roads meet, you have to stop. That's an intersection. It's the point where they meet. Does that make sense? So you could stop and either go straight, or you could turn, or let other people go. So Flint paper is saved, and now he has a goofy as hell. Don't be too hard on Stinky for almost poisoning you. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. They serve so many different kinds of toxins here, they've got their own menu. Nice try, fellas, but she's on to me. I know it. I'm getting too close on this big case of mine, and she's trying to rub me out. She's trying to do what? <laughs> That's kind of gross. What's this big case you're working on? Get ready to have your furry minds blown, pals, because this one goes way Their back. what minds? Think about it. What do we really know about this stinky doll? Well, the story is that Grandpa Stinky actually created her using some kind of demonic spell, and she's been running the diner ever since. I have banana. Right, some crazy story you'd have to be an idiot to believe. Right. What else does Minion idiot. say? I don't know. So I started digging around, and I found this out back. Stinky, my queen. I cannot wait any longer. I will be making my grand appearance this afternoon. You say they won't trust me because I'm not human, but damn the consequences. We must start phase two of the operation now. I will call your private number with the details. Love, S. An inhuman monster, in bed with Stinky, planning something big this afternoon. 
name starts with S. You know what that means? Skunking. Oh, well, yeah, that, that could be it. I was thinking it was you, Sam. What the fuck? Thank you, Nala guy. I'm not angry, Sam, just very disappointed. <laughs> Come on, Max. If Sinky's in cahoots with General Skunk Ape, it may have something to do with that missing power core. Good luck, fellas. I'll let Sinky's you know if I find team. anything else. Sam, I may be psychic now, but I've got no idea how we're going to find out Sinky's private phone number. P.S. Just to make sure, your private number is still 212-555-8942, isn't it? Do you know anything about a power core? Yeah, Sinky's Mama Bosco hired so me to find it. Standard issue, find the secret failed. invention for the scientists before it falls into the wrong hands stuff. Even you guys could do it. Yeah, no Did offense. you try doing it backwards? Oh, yeah, we totally know where it is. We were just testing you. But I'm in the middle of a case that's one hell of a lot bigger. What do you know about this creep, General Skunky? Just that he tried to hire me to find some missing toys for Anywhere him. on the I'm east, too busy yeah. With my it would be, you would be looking that doing. direction. You wouldn't know anything about these toys, would you? I can't lie to Flint Paper, Sam. I can't really, buddy. Nope, not a thing. Let me, let me show you. The city. Yes. See ya, Flint. Hey, so, an I intersection? Like you guys? Always. Let me see. I think I'd better go see Doris. She's my allergy specialist. Man, is she gonna blow her stack when she hears about those peanuts. So, because the squares are like blocks where the houses are, the lines in the middle are roads. So, an intersection would be this part right here. The, going this way is going through an intersection. So I'm going through one intersection, two, three. So if you want to turn at an intersect, if you're turning at the following intersection and you're going this way, you get to an intersection and you turn right. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I guess just try it out with, with the different houses and see which one makes you face east, if that makes sense. And you know, there's like, uh, did they have a memo option on, on that game, or is that the later games? Memo? M-E-M-O? It, it would be right underneath where it says hints. It would, if they don't, I don't think they do. The later games have a memo option where you can draw, and it helps, it makes it a little bit easier, so you can like draw out, like, Stuff like that, but th because that's the first game, I don't think it does. So, I guess I just call Stinky now. I guess I go do that. Let's go call Stinky. Yeah. Hi, Miss Grandpa Stinky and his blasphemous recipes. Bro, he's right in there. <laughs> What do you mean you miss them? Hi, bestie. Welcome to phone, right? Hello, and welcome to the Teleboy Communitronic 354. Oh, boy. Can you make phone calls? There's so many. I want to mess around with this. You like a pizza? I want an extra large stick crust with one half peanut butter Ew. and passion fruit, the other half with watermelon only. You want cheesy dingles, Max? You have to ask. Okay, and two, no three orders of cheesy dingles. Gouda, no three. Right, an extra fudge sauce. Okay, thanks. That sounds absolutely How long disgusting. Did get here? Probably never, Max. Nobody answered. <laughs> Sybil's still on her honeymoon. Kind of pointless to try and call her in retrospect. You've reached Bosco Tech Lab, the city's leading research facility for scientific breakthroughs with a woman's touch. Science and woman's touch are two things you hardly ever hear together. I'm dead right now, wonderful. but feel free to call again later. This is Harry Molman, speaker for the deck. If you'd like a seance, exorcism, or Tibetan spirit walking ritual, please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I also do like secretarial or housework. Please hire me. Hey, you reach Stinky Stainer. Say it, Grandpa. Oh, right. Home of the colossal blooming avocado taste banger deluxe. Place your order on the beef, and one of our polite delivery people will rush it to you. Which he won't. I 
was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Food order. Have you checked the baby? See, Max, he's fine. I told you to stop worrying. What kind of pretend mother would I be if I didn't worry about our imaginary baby? Please say the name of the person you want to call. I was hoping you'd call. You must have me confused with someone else. I wanted one of your lobster-fed piglet buffet platters to go, please. She hung up on me. So rude. Please say the name. I was hoping you'd call. Yes, <laughs> we should go to uh, that place with the thing that you like. Perfect. I'll leave right away. See you wherever that is, then, uh, my love. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Are your corn dogs really made with 100% pure beef? What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. <laughs> well, that's a relief. That's Ever funny. since the dairy freeze shut down, Sinky's corn dogs have been my only source of nutritious pig sphincters. She looking kind of sus. Sus. Where does she go? Did she go down there? Because I don't know where else she would have gone. <sighs> Bro, how does how is it eleven o'clock already? There's like nothing for me to do in down here right now. You've circled all of them? Let me see, come here. And that's where you're going, I think. Okay, well I'll tell you straight up that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, so... Give seven hundred fifty eight million dollars for some Still of that nothing. demon broth right about now. Go out. Go left, then go right, then go right. That's not that one. Left and then go. That's nothing. Go out, go left. That's nothing. Could be this one. This one right here. Try that one. Let's see that point. Let's see that point. Let's see that point. Yeah, I told you. I miss playing those games. I kind of want to play them again. Pudding. Good night. Go to sleep. Has no arms and is made of pudding. There's something about Puddin' Ed Lincoln that'll get my vote. Don't vote for Puddin' Ed. He's soft on crime. <laughs> get it? Soft. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Can I already do this? Oh, that's unpleasant. Okay, like I did, I did these already, so this is nothing. So now I'm like just confused. Uh. So we save Flint paper. 
So maybe we could figure out the power core thing now. I wonder if looking at his future would have changed because of that. Let's go maybe see. Oh, he's gone. Stinky still here. Can I go behind the counter? No. That's lame. What is it now? Stay cheerful. Yeah, but other stinky is still there. We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's seven hundred million dollar lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Milopolis resident Harry Molden. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> What about your super secret demon bra? Uh, take it off of me. I never need to worry about money again. Weird. Okay. So there's a. Oh. Oh, I, I just straight up can go behind here now. Just shoot your button. What the hell? Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. It's a secret passage, Sam. Really not that big a deal. tech audio video equipment tossed out like pianos from a falling zeppelin and it's still warm documentary filmmakers must be lurking nearby <laughs> some secret passage it's just a bunch of junk like this old scanner oh boy who said you smoke first not that kind of scam what the hey look it's mama bosco's futuristic power core how is it doing down here that's a mystery for another episode max for another episode well well, I got the other thing too. That'd be good. Cool. Cause that, being that it has a name tag, makes me think I can give it to the other robot guys. Um, was that all I needed down there? I'm gonna assume so. If not, I could come back. Why is he scanning Super Bowl? <laughs> Still looking for a fourth member? Well, hello there, beautiful. Were your moving parts properly secured when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Do not forget our seminar on workplace harassment. Plus, I called dear. Oh my god. When exactly. Did this get really creepy? Thank you for joining us in a brand new style of 20th century crime fighting. You can begin submitting clues to the crime trial whenever you find them. Any ideas on the case, cops? We're sorry. Damn evidence with the crime hype and drawn, and we will track down the villains without mercy. It looks like you're using the crime trial. Would you like help? Sure, I 
keep it short. Place any two pieces of evidence into the Crimetron XL Multi. If a piece of evidence is found on our database, you'll hear this noise. If we cannot recognize a piece, you'll hear this. After two items are inserted, our exclusive Clomat technology will scan for possible connections. Advance the data analysis algorithms will compare the evidence against our 64KB database at up to 1-2 calculations per second. You're not! I can open it! It's a crime! Uh, it's a crime! <laughs> Do I have any evidence to use? I mean, I don't really know right now. Wait, I don't actually want to. I want to just go. Where are you go- <laughs> What? Hey! I'm starting to get tired, what the hell? Okay, why is it clicking use exit? I'm- I'm not used to the con- I- oh, I'm- I'm- think I'm slipping back into the old controls. I'm trying to like, click to walk forward and I'm just clicking to leave. Which is... There we go. Okay, what the fuck? Here we go. So, Mama Bosco, after you hire me as your research assistant, we'll need to talk about my vacation time. No, I'd better save this for somebody who needs a jolt. What can I do for you boys? See you on the other So we don't even need to give it to her really? That's weird. Can I use the Okay. Well why the fuck am I over here? I'd give seven hundred fifty-eight million dollars for some of that demon broth right about now. So the demon broth. How the fuck do I do that? I'm so I'm I'm a, I'm a little lost <laughs> right now. No, I'd better save this for somebody. Hmm. I did not. I should probably go do that. Like, I, I've talked to him before, but I don't know if he's got anything new to say, but I should probably check to see if he does. So, Mama Bosco, after you hire me- Yeah, where he wins the lottery or something. So... No, no, stop. <laughs> Bro, I did not ask you to use the elevator. I 
I think for the other games, I'm gonna like figure out how to hook up a controller because I feel like that would might actually be be more fun. I know all and see all. Since this clearly has like controller integration. If money's tight, maybe you should try the lottery. I've got a really good feeling about your chances this time. Yeah, the lottery's just for unemployed losers who don't understand how numbers work. So how many tickets have you bought? Well, no, wait, uh, one. So... I ha- okay, so there's that. See you around, Harry. Hmm. Assuming his future is still the same. Thanks, Sam and Max. This is exactly what I need to turn my life around. Harry's got a great, big, wonderful. And to think, all it took was this. So I still don't know what I need for that. So, Mama Bosco, after you hire me as your research assistant, hmm. we'll need to talk about my vacation. Have it? Stinky my queen, I cannot wait any longer. I will be making PS just to make sure. Don't think it's that. Would it be the power core? Power core jumper cables. Vacation ticket. Weird. I'll just try all of them. Because I I'm hmm. I tried to give him this earlier and he said I don't want it. I'm like, okay. I know what would cheer you up, Harry. An all expensive it is a ticket? vacation. What the you actually have one of Skunkati's golden tickets? Well, that's a nice gesture, but I don't take charity. I'd have to give you something in return. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a lottery ticket, would you? Oh, sure. I buy one every week, but it's worthless. I never win anything. I mean, uh, it's incredibly valuable to me. I don't know if I could part with it. Oh. Okay, then. See you, Harry. Wait, I can part with it. Just give me that vacation ticket. I see, I see. So long, suckers. Prepare yourselves, mole women of outer space. The love digger is on his way. Oh. God. Harry must have dug his way in here. They say they don't like to be in bright sunlight, but I say it's just an excuse to do more property damage. A brilliant excuse. Can I not go in there? Harry must have dug his way. They say they don't. Why can't I use the tunnel? I would like to use the tunnel, please. Please let me use the tunnel. What can I do for you, boys? Ass. Weird, okay. So you're suggesting we trap Skunk Ape in our own building? Well, kind of. You'd actually be turning your building into an alternate dimension, so it won't really exist anymore. God, okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. So you're suggesting we try- Okay, well I did this one already. I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept- Yeah, yeah, just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the freelance police and humanity. Hmm. Guess what, whores? What? I give seven hundred fifty-eight million dollars for some of that demon broth. Cool. 
cool. Didn't you have dinner earlier, you said? Whatever. I've never actually had grits before. I'm a fake southerner, <laughs> I guess. My ass never had grits. I mean, is it is it good? Is it okay? I'm guessing if you're eating it, it should be okay, but you know. I don't even know what grits are. Like, how similar is it to- oh, let me make you grits. Come over to my house and bring me some grits right now. I dare you. I'd give $758 million for some of that demon broth right about now. How similar is it to oatmeal? Milk instead of water. Okay. Wild. What is it now? Stay cheerful. Ah. And that was Patty Me Up the Jingle Down by Captain Cod and the Crusty Salt. Stay tuned for more shanties and breaking news. Oatmeal was savory and slightly slightly rougher. Okay, that's wild. We were all torn up about sealing your patent 30 years ago, Grandpa Stinky. Maybe this will make up for it. A lottery ticket. <laughs> Don't you know that nobody ever wins these stupid... We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Milopolis resident, Harry Molman. This just in, in a surprising upset, we're told that the winning ticket was transferred to local diner owner, Grandpa Stinky. <laughs> Sorry, Harry Molman. Better luck next time. Do you not? I told you I would win. <laughs> so long, suckers. We've been hearing that an awful lot lately. What about your super secret demon broth? <laughs> Tickets are for me. I never need to worry about money again. Cool. We better find a use for this quick, Max. I don't like the way it sloshes around in my coat and gets everything disconcertingly moist. Oh, sure. Blame the demon broth. <laughs> All right, so what the hell else do I do in here? Uh... So, demon broth and the battery is what I needed for... I couldn't remember why I needed those things, but bring us back to the spaceship. I always feel like these games take a while. Not not super terribly long, but well, this one's taking me a while because usually I get done about like, the three-hour mark, and I'm it's almost at the three-hour mark, and I feel like I'm not done yet. <laughs> but, I mean. I don't know, because to me it feels like one of those things where it's like, God, I feel like I haven't even, like, fin you know, I'm I haven't gotten to the, like, ending, like, anywhere close to the ending, and then by the time I get to it, it's like, oh, there it is. I don't know, it kind of, like, creeps up on you. What the hell is that? That looks really gross. Mm, it's too bad you don't have a nose, because you smell delicious! And then I guess I'll just... Oops. This should give that brain the jolt he needs to face the morning. Now we just need game, some way to hook way it up. Longer. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so it, I might as well just... I'd ra I don't want to break it up. I'd rather just get it all done. So 
but I think that means next time I need to start it a little you bit earlier. Me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Don't forget the jumper cables, Sam. They were very important. Whatever the case, listen carefully. Do not trust General Skun Cafe. He is... He is... Whoa. Something's happening. Toys detected. Toys detected. What are you doing, Brain? Cut it out. I can't help it. I'm... <laughs> what the fuck? His name's Gordon. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Tell me, friend Brain, where is the toy? Two toys. The weak can't trace. Two. Uh, I only have one. Very well. What's I'll the other one? Them myself. Yeah, the coast is clear. What just happened? I don't know. I've never felt anything like that. The boys of this planet must have astonishing power. Where is Skunkate's collection of magic toys? He keeps them on display as a show of power. I'm regaining control over the ship's functions so I can reveal them to you. Behold! That's oh. it. That's it. It's a toy that lets you teleport across vast distances in the blink of an eye using only the power of your mind. That's not cool enough for you? It's just, we saw more toys in Max's vision. More toys? You must not have found them yet. They must still be somewhere in this city. You have to find them before Skunkape does, or he'll destroy us all! Oh, so that's all this game is, is finding those. Okay, that's wild. So he's got at least one, I'm guessing, and then- because he said he saw- he sensed two. So that would be the one that he already has, the phone, teleporting phone, and then the one that we already have, which is the- Spaceship is secure. If I could have a one. moment, sirs. Hello, Sam, Mr. President. If you have a moment, you need to be debriefed. Too late! This may come as a shock, but our intel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. But no! Surprise, okay. surprise. What's the real story? Five hours? Skunk Holy shit. General Skunkape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the <laughs> most dangerous villains penal in the universe. Zone. How are we supposed to get Skunkape back into the penal zone? The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible fail-safe measures in place to handle escape convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. I was right, my sister is hanging out with her boyfriend right now. I don't know why she decided to send me a selfie, but... Weird. <sighs> Where is Skunk Ape now? We can't track a lot of it goes into figuring out the UI. Yeah, I'm sure. traditional detective work. What reckless and irrational detective work do? Cause that's all we know. I'd recommend starting with some of his known contacts. So I would skunk ape wearing any just kind of as a general question, beacon? am I about that's like maybe halfway through one, sir. or I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. So I'm guessing that's how it ends. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic Maybe. correctional facility inmates badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. Hmm. We have to open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway? You must have lost your senses, man! The odds against that are astronomical! Roughly... Even if we did know what that was. The gateway is the easy part, sirs. Dr. Mama Bosco's reckless and blasphemous work tearing down the fabric of reality could be useful. What do we need from Mama Bosco? Her dimensional destabilizer can open a gateway to the penal zone. Anyone wearing a prisoner's homing beacon will be returned to justice automatically and scientifically. I'm pretty sure I never heard of a Department of Homeworld Security agent, Super Bowl. Established in 1901 by Theodore Roosevelt after President McKinley's assassination what? by one of the insectors of the <laughs> Nebula Empire. 
It's explained in books, sir. All oh, right. Wait, McKin <laughs> McKinley assassinated by insectoids. Who was McKinley actually assassinated by? It's that guy with like a weird name. He was like a um. Oh God, he was like some anarchist, and he had like this crazy ass name. God, hold on, it's gonna kill me if I don't know. I swear to God, it. Cause there's a. There's a song about it from some like. Musical. I don't know. I I'm not a musical theater person, but I know it exists. Who? Cause I, I don't know if they killed. I, I think they did actually kill that one. Who killed? McKinley. Yeah. Leon Sholgosh, I think is how it's pronounced. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I remember this. He was a... It just... Wikipedia just says anarchist. Yeah. Was that why you were hanging out Wild. in our office Loving. so much last Loving season? I mean, a few months <laughs> ago? To protect Max? Uh, I know, useless sure. trivia that no wow. one cares about. I feel really close to you right now, Agent Superball. He's holding his hands. <laughs> Likewise, sir. A bit too close. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, please don't do that. Don't worry, Superball. We'll hit that gorilla where it hurts the most. Right in the penal yes, zone! I get it, sir. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a brief break to get a drink or something, so I'm just gonna be right back.
I'm back. You want to link to the musical number? I can give you one. Hold on. Here. It was... I think it was called Assassins, the musical was. It was quite literally just about the different people who tried to kill or assassinate American presidents. You know, both successfully and unsuccessfully. So, I mean, everyone from John Wilkes Booth to the guy who killed Kennedy to the guy I just talked about. You know, lots of different people. Some of them, you know, successful, some of them not successful. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is in it. He actually, so the specific song I'm thinking of, he actually did that one. Hold on. Um, where's my mouse? There it is. Cause now, now I'm thinking about now. I went down to get a drink, and I have that song stuck in my head now. Yeah, I mean it, it's. I I I'm not really a musical theater person, but I like history stuff, so it's it's pretty fascinating. Yeah, that that's I found it. I'll send it to you. But it's it's really 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 catchy. It's just that's the only reason I know how to pronounce this guy's name. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll link it to you because I don't want to get copyright <laughs> struck. The Great Pan American Exposition in Buffalo. There we go. So if if you if you're interest that interested, and again, that's the only song I know. I don't know any of the other ones, but I I know that the musical itself is about that. So. Okay, back to smacks. Okay, so anything important in here? Super Ball's just untouchable right now, I guess. Oh, I guess we can steal the, uh... Oh, I didn't even... Oh! Okay, so Fun, fun Home is the Allison, um... Bish bish is it Bichettel? Bich Bich I, I don't know how it's- that, that's that one, right? It's based off of her comics. I- I- I wanna see that- I- I think I- I wanna either, like, watch it or, or read her comics. Yeah, her- her stuff is super cool. Cause- cause she- she's- she's really, like, famous for her lesbian comics. If I'm not mistaken, like, you know, so. I'm not gonna rest if that's that one, I okay. the guy who killed my partner. Killed your partner? Is there something you're oh, not shit. telling me? Must be ominous foreshadowing, pal. Wait. Whatever the case, I'm gonna sound really Wait. cool in the future. Wait, what? I'm not gonna rest until I find the guy who killed my partner. Oh your shit! Partner. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me? Must be ominous foreshadowing, pal. Whatever the case, I'm gonna sound really cool in the future. Come from away? I don't know. I don't, I've never heard of that one. Speaking of musicals. I have a complicated uh, relationship with musicals. Some some of them I like, some of them I don't. Some of them I start to like and then I don't. So y'all hear about <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Y'all hear about Dear Evan Hansen getting a movie? <laughs> like it's funny to me. So I I never listened to it willingly. My sister kind of liked it, and then my grandma really got into it. My mom didn't really care. Like, she liked some of the musicals, but she didn't really care about that one. But my sister kind of liked it, and my grandma, for some reason, decided, oh, this is my Max, new favorite thing. this unassuming telephone unlocks the gift of teleportation. Using the power of your God. mind, you can teleport Yeah, okay, did you not hear about that? Any phone number you have memorized. So, like Dear Evan Hansen is getting a movie me, that's you it, Hold on, Max I'm waiting for the movie. Anyone he's touching. Watch the hands. 
so they're getting a movie. The trailer, people kind of made fun of it because uh, I don't remember the guy. Is his name is his name Evan or is that the guy he's the dead guy he's writing to? I don't remember. Anyways, so the main character, because in in the in the play or the whatever, it's it's uh that Ben Ben Platt or whoever that guy who played him. And he's playing him in the movie too, and people are make, making fun of him because he's like a 30 year old adult trying to be a high schooler in the movie. And then he's like, whatever. He's like, haters gonna hate. <laughs> okay, Evan's the dead guy. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So that that's kind of funny, and it's like, it's whatever. I mean, to me personally, it's annoying, but you know, Dear Evan Hansen movie is not the only movie to, like, cast a, a 30-year-old as a teenager. Every fucking thing in Hollywood does that, you know? It, that, that's common, but it's stupid. I, I'm so sick and tired of fucking 30-year-olds pretending they're teenagers. From everything from... From everything from fucking Riverdale to, like, ha you know, Hannah Montana back in the day. So, it, it's not Would new. Like teleportation power? We'll try it out later. Oh yeah, he knows oh. it's his role, so okay. like that that's not really that mm. big of a deal. Is but people are making brain? fun of it, so it's a little funny. Just, I've never seen it. I'm just a brain in a jar. Can't really use it. I mean, I don't so care. I'm not gonna all. watch the movie okay, willingly. If I, if I see we'll it, it will be because I walk in the room and someone else is watching it. But um, I can't leave. Aren't you going to try the teleportation? Oh, okay. The one thing that is funny though is people, because there's a movie, you know, they see the trailer and like before people's only idea of like what Dear Evan Hansen is about is from musical theater kid fandom. And so people assume, oh, there's gay people in it. They see the trailer and then they realize what the plot's actually about and they're like, hey, this is kind of fucked up. <laughs> Because, I mean, the premise is really- f it's kind of fucked up. Oh, for real? Oh, look at all these fun members. Sybil? Let's go see Sybil. Oh, I guess it's her- it's in the- never mind, it's not Sybil, it's uh, her phone in a box. That's fun. <laughs> Join the ride, <laughs> Self. When traveling through Max's brain, keep your eyes <laughs> shut. What the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, the music. God, scary. But yeah, the musical is pretty. Uh, it's got some intense uh, subjects. Which that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad, right? Because you're allowed to have main characters who do wrong things, I would say. You know, it's it's okay for a main character to fuck up really badly. And, and you know, I, don't, I mean, on a granted, I don't know if he gets redeemed if he learns the lesson or not, but you know, it's, uh... But impressionable teenagers aren't always gonna be like that. They're still in high school, they haven't learned how to analyze media critically. So they're like, hmm, maybe it's okay for me to be... I, gr I think that's the case with most things, though. So, yeah, it is what it is. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I have, um... I guess I need to go to Mama Blasco's to get some shit dealt with. Okay, hold on. Well... Map fla Flanderization? That's a while. What, what, I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what Flanderization is. Hands of middle school is all around the world. Yeah. Because when I hear Flanderization, I think of fucking Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. So I don't know what you meant, but that <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of. Oh shit. Hey, you 
guys can't do that to me. Looks to me like we just did. At least give me back my sidekick. You'll get the rabbit once Jerome's done working him over. The fuck? So, maybe it's because I've been having to look at a lot of Cuban revolutionaries for school lately. But why do they- why do their hats look like that? Talking to that guy is a waste of time. <laughs> I've got to figure out some better way to get the drop on it. What? Why does a uh... popularized by dead fighters from? Okay, so I single element of a character's personality is inflated over the course of the work. Okay, yeah, I figured, because he, he said I had to get the drop on him, and I'm figuring I'm probably going to literally drop something from the root from what I did earlier, but... Kind of beam? There's a beam up there, though? I don't remember that. Okay, what are you saying shut up to? I don't remember what I said because of there's a lag. Because <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, this, okay. Hand over the shiny thing and nobody has to get hurt. Hey, careful where you drop that thing. Can I do anything from up here? Oh, the Cuban revolutionary hats? Well, I mean, okay, so for class, I literally just watched a movie about Che Guevara, so it's like, it's already on my brain. So... Hello? Uh, sure, I'm not doing anything, so. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> you're kidding! Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Only thing I want to do is I have a rental textbook I gotta take back, but that's just me putting in a box and going to UPS. So, okay, so oh no, soggy grits, <laughs> thickening. Are they supposed to be thick? Okay, why is he wa- What is up with this ain't- Oh my god, dude. Here we go. It's an engagement ring. Hmm, I've got a feeling Skunke picked it up while he was out looking for toys. Oh, there's an engraving. Hard luck. Classy. <laughs> you do me the honor of Scram. <laughs> you could have at least let me down easy. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this, and I have no max right now. Oh, that's fun. fun keep that for a bit just this POV Teleport to. Oh, but that means he gets teleported with me. The rain keeps the rain. Ah. That gorilla cut off the oxygen to my brain. I don't even remember 
great saw. So, where did it go? Where'd the gorilla go, though? The ring? I still have the ring. Wait. Gay people. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait. It went into a whole cutscene. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Why? Why would they? <laughs> uh, they're like, you know how many people are gonna click this? We gotta do something. Gotta give the gays what they want. God. Now all kinds of bad guys are gonna be after your eerie powers and your freakish body. Tell them to get in line. I've got all kinds of ladies trying to get a piece of this body. Oh my I god. I already explained that, Max. Those ladies want you for cosmetics testing. <laughs> it glitched out? Oh, so I'm- uh, Hold See on, you, let me do it again. Keep in touch! Cause they like- Okay, yeah, I gotta try this again. Homophobic glitch. Cause it's just really close close-ups of, of like brick walls. Still Nah. Hold on. I wonder if I turn my graphics up if that will help. I doubt it. Oh. There we go. Watch my computer start to go shit. Okay. I don't think this will help, but um, if it doesn't, then that I'll just look it up on YouTube later. Okay, I can kind of see the shadows now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nah. Is it supposed to be just the silhouettes then? I think that's why it didn't show up because I had the graphics quality down and the silhouettes in that first in the first few cutscenes were so light that it just decided, nah, we're not gonna show you that. That's fun. And now my computer starts to there you go. I'll keep it on for a bit and if it decides uh, to not work, I'll turn it back down. So now we have Max. Okay. Do it again! Do it again! Uh, I don't know what that's about. Well, that knocked him out cold. Do it again! Do it again! Hmm. Telltale said we're shitty PC phobic. Yeah. They said, if you have a PC that can't run at 9 graphics, fuck you. So... I don't know what we could do to them right now. I could try teleporting again, but... Are your grids still s- oh, that's so sad. I'm trying to think of what- I mean... If you wanted to heat it back up, well, maybe that's just for gravy. Like, doesn't flour- you can use flour to thicken things up, right? Is that a thing, or am I, or am I making that up? I swear to god that's a thing for something, but I, it might not be- it might not work for grits. Typically, more dry, like, ingredients make things a little bit thicker. No or at least take mo moisture out. Oh, so I have to deal with that shit again? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn my graphics back down. It keeps going into the yellow. The paper mache. Yeah. I was, what, at six? 
I mean, I could try going somewhere else. Because there's only so many things Max can do. You know, he can teleport and he can look at the future. That's, that's it. So. Oops. This might not be the best way to go right now, but... Did I use the future vision inside? I, I thought I, I did, but I, I could be making that up. Where are we? Is that foreshadowing for the next episode? Just based on, on what I know from the title? That's interesting. It's Stinky's cell phone, but why would she have left it behind? Especially since she's got 18 months left on her contract. Either there was some kind of struggle, or it was left here for us to find and we're walking right into a trap. I got it! She waived her early cancellation fees with a recommended device upgrade. So now we know two things. You're an idiot, and this phone is going to lead us directly <laughs> to General Skunky, somehow. So what items do I have? I have the note, I have the engagement ring, I have the stinky cell phone that I just got, and I have the gun. That's all I have right now. We must have driven around this corner a million times, and I never noticed that fire hydrant before. Don't beat yourself up, Sam. We can knock it over when we come back. Hmm. Oh, there's a cow. <laughs> Nothing over here, so this puzzle took a bit. Hmm. Cause I'm not quite sure. Does it have to do with her phone? But I just know it activates. I love the little noise that it makes. I want to use up Stinky's minutes. Admit it, Sam. Minutes. You don't know how to turn it on. If God wanted us to use cell phones, he wouldn't have invented cords. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's that hard, I'll I'll take the hint because I'm a little lost right now. <laughs> Great start. Think about gravity. I didn't know there's like a look in the window. What's in there? As far as I can tell, a bunch of temp workers who've never seen a six foot tall dog <laughs> peeking in their window before. Goddamn Gen Xers. about gravity does it involve anything here or is the only thing I needed here stinky cell I'm, I'm assuming the only thing I needed from this location is stinky cell phone so I'm, I think I'm going to, to have to use max power is it here or is it somewhere else okay that's what I thought I figured there's Nothing for me here, so. I love the ambient sound. Ambient? That's not how that works. Shut up! <laughs> Unlike my ass. How dare you? Two times in one stream? 
I should block the word ass. You're not allowed to talk about ass in, in here. Although, of course, you could just unblock it. Since you have mod privileges. Um... Hmm. Like no one's also no one is here anymore at, at Stinky. Oh, actually, Stinky is still here. Even the freelance police can put me in a bad mood today. Oh, hey, I need that. Oh, you think? <laughs> it is pretty cool, isn't it? But don't touch! And no animals on the counter! We love Skunk Ape. We've had a sudden change of heart. We think Skunk Ape is awesome. Where do we sign up to join the Skunk Ape Army? You two? In the Skunk Ape Army? Don't make me laugh. We're really good at not making people laugh. Why can't we be in the Skunk Ape Army? For starters, have you ever actually hit anything with that gun of yours, Fido? Now that's just not nice. As for Harvey here, he'll be a fine soldier until we run into a you must be this tall to invade this planet <laughs> sign. Uh-oh, you made him angry. <laughs> Oh my god, that's adorable. He's angry. Why does his head look so fucking big in this angle? Settle down, Max. His <laughs> wife is a multi-millionaire, Grandpa Stinky. A sleep so rage at activate. You're starting to regret handing over that ticket, are you? I almost feel bad taking it from you. But consider it a life lesson. You're gonna be a lot more clever to outsmart an old salt like Stinky. What are you gonna do with all the money? Oh, I already gave it away. You what? The General Skunkapi. Don't you hear them talk about the big plans he has for the planet? Inspiring. And since he made me a second in command, I never have to worry about money again. You just gave away hundreds of millions of dollars to an alien gorilla? You make it sound like I didn't get anything in return. I got this badge and command of an entire alien fleet. That is pretty cool, Sam. Well, yeah, especially if you threw in the bag. Hmm. Isn't that brooch a little fancy pants for you, Grandpa Stinky? Teach a brooch, you cretin. It's Bro, a he just said taint. General Scum Captain, you're what? so grateful. <laughs> My Why'd they let him say that, that he made in me this game? His second in command. God. That bad I don't think that's real. Sinky. You better let that's us not out. a real contraction when word. You have it. This badge gives me command over General Shunkapi's entire Fifth Legion and Outer Dominions. I'm not going to give it to the likes of you. Where are his Outer Dominions exactly? I don't know. He told me to command them from inside the diner. I think it stretches from Alpha Centauri to the Andromeda Galaxy. And Brooklyn, of course. Can't we just borrow your badge? Ah, even if you want a couple of shitless eight traitors, my captain ordered me never to take it off. Gee, I wonder and why. to keep at least 50 feet away from him at all times for some reason. Hmm. Skunk Ape's a total dillweed, Grandpa Stinky. We're placing him under arrest. Well, we're getting around to it. Eventually. Traitors! I knew it! Just wait until the general hears about this! You know where he is? Well, no. I'm not supposed to go near him. But you two are in for a world of hurt once you get my memo. 
Do these run out, or do you just go back and forth? You really want to join the Skunk Ape Army, Grandpa Slinky. Max needs to pay for college. Oh, God. Why don't you ladies run back to your knitting and scrapbooking? What the fuck? And leave the army work to the real men. Hey, and hello. Girls. What? Does it. Get his ass. Settle down, Max. General Skunk Ape's got you brainwashed, Grandpa Slinky. Yeah, and he hung you out to dry to avoid further shrinkage. Ha! You gentle, free-loving, hippie, peacey types just can't <laughs> appreciate a real leader who's not afraid to use his weapons. He really doesn't know us at all, does he? <laughs> this is your last warning, Grandpa Stinky. We're taking down the whole skunk ape army. Don't forget who you're talking to, traitors. As long as I wear this badge. My loyalty is with the general. This is too much. I'm gonna stop for now. Peace through destruction. Hmm. Boomer versus Gen X fight. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Jeez, Grandpa Stinky. We just thought you could stand to get out of the diner once in a while. You're welcome. Hmm. I don't know what that's about. I'm assuming the next thing I need to do involves, um... Well, I still have Stinky's cell phone. This thing is too complicated. I'm assuming the next thing I had to do would just have to be a Baba Bosco's, but... Let me do that again, I guess. Mask and pelt. I, I, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So, oops. Let's teleport one more time. Back in there. Dog, again? Hey! What are you doing? No visitors. Hi, puppy. What is that? Is that you? Hey, what are you doing? What are you looking for? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, okay, you come to eat my snacks and then leave. What are you doing? What are you doing? Puppy, what are you doing? Gross. Do you have anything to say to the people? 
Oh, you're just gonna smell all my shit. Okay. You weirdo. It's kind of tacky the way Mama Bosco hung that banner right over the sidewalk. Can I walk further out? I totally can. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, and without any significant injuries either. <laughs> that line, that line read was really good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I talked to like if, if I'm controlling Sam and he's not going where I want him to go, I talk to him the same way I talk to my dog. Where are you going? Why are you going there? Stop! Go this way. I thought you got things. <laughs> Stop! Don't make fun of me. Like, she just, like, is just in here. She can just open my door and smell things if she wants to. Hey, what are you doing? It's a torn receipt for something. Skunk Ape must have dropped it when he came through here. A clue! Which store? Can't tell from half a receipt, little buddy. This looks like a job for the Crime Tron. Hi. Come here. Don't, hey, there's a box there. Don't step on it. Whoa. So stinky. Hey, look, this is a dog, too. Do you see it? Do you see that? That's a dog. Just like you. You are oblivious. Yeah, she's just like chilling. Hi. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. See, you can be cute when you want to be. Yeah. Puppy. Grandpa Stinky. <sighs> so, receipt. Um, do I need to do anything else in here yet? I detected a spike here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is stuff I already know. Okay. I think my favorite thing about my dog is how I. I accidentally conditioned her to like look at the television <laughs> oh god like if we're in the living room and I like sometimes I, I would do it to like be oh like look 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 there's a dog on the TV and she runs up to the TV and looks at it and if she sees something that she thinks kind of looks like an animal or something that she could get she freaks out and like tries to jump up and like get it. It, it it's kind of funny but it's um it's not funny when you know if it if she knocks over a you know television that's but most of the time it's pretty funny oh okay and she just left me that rat bastard okay 
for the crime tron you you really only need whoa did you see that i went to walk forward and he just jumped backwards That was weird. Um, where is my? I guess I can just. I guess I gotta teleport to my car now. Sam can teleport too now. Oh. Really? Grandpa Sinky like sounds can... like General Skunk Ape's number one biggest fan. I wonder if he can help. Wait, what did he just- okay. This receipt's only got part of an address, but not the name of the store. Item not found in the database. Hmm. So, okay, he said the receipt was... One of Skunk Ape's minions left behind this torn receipt from a toy store. Better keep this. Oh, gotcha. Okay. My brain I forgot that he did that and my, my brain was blinking out. What the hell was that noise? Hold on. I think a cat got stuck somewhere. Back. So that's your first mistake is you added more grits. Too many grits. I do that with oatmeal sometimes because I feel like one packet of oatmeal is like not enough oatmeal. Like two packets of oatmeal is like too much oatmeal. There's like not a <laughs> Oh that sucks. So what the fuck um I might need a hint, not gonna lie, because I'm I'm kind of getting a little t tired of this. It's fun, but I feel like my brain's going to explode. I I don't, cause I I also missed what he said about the receipt. One of Stone Gates. Oh, you know what? You know what I could do. Wonder if that will change things. Yeah, are they long, man? Which I I don't hate, uh, you know, but it's a lot. I didn't realize they would be as long as they are. I wonder what it'd be like to live on another. Probably a lot like. I don't need to go. That's real. New York. Okay, the now they're talking. It's a lot different from what I remember. It's the new mayor and his man up, New York. It's a city, not a freaking daycare center campaign. His inauguration was the most action packed in years, though. He wore a necklace made from human fingers. What the fuck? I don't want to keep look watching at all the skies, Max. You I'll texted shoot me an image. Funny. Uh, I didn't get an image. Are you sure you texted me an image? 
<laughs> no, I got it, actually. So I don't know how you think I'm going to put this on stream on the computer when I'm... Hold on. I have my ways. Uh... Okay. Max is Since you're that desperate for me to put your picture of grits on stream. Okay. All this fucking effort. Oh, there it is. Here we go. This. I mean, that certainly is a pot full of grits. It kind of, um, kind of looks gross. I kind of hate looking at it. It's like stuck to the sides. It's like when you fuck up uh, rice. And there's also a lot of- yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's so tragic. It tastes good- I mean, I'll take your word for it, but- you, you know me, I'm picky as hell, so I'm like, um, that actually looks bad, so I actually don't trust it, even though I'm sure it's fine. You made more- Oh, you made two pictures? I'm not gonna go through the trouble of- Of, um, showing the second picture, but- I mean, it looks okay. Uh, it looks we- it looks like- Very lumpy, though. Is that normal for grits? Max's teleportation power is pretty cool. I just wish there weren't so much inappropriate touching involved. Do you know how it takes me way too long to have to send it to myself so I can download it on my computer? Okay, okay, it's fine. I'll put on the- I'll multitask. I'll send it to myself. And I'll also go to the spaceship at the same time. Because it's going to take me some doing. Okay, well, I'll trust you if you make me- if you make me some grits, perhaps. Okay. All this fucking effort for a picture of grits. Are you happy? There. <laughs> okay. Understandable. We'll just look at your picture of grits instead of video game. How about that? I think that's respectful. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't think it looks delicious, but I'm sure it tastes fine. I just- it, it, it looks like- it looks like mush that you feed orphans in like movies, you know? Like when they feed orphans a bunch of like, like just weird like mush, it, that's what it looks like. Yeah. 
Why am I in the spaceship? Hold on. Oh my god. Oh, that part? I mean, I kind of see it. I mean, your the eggs also look kind of wild, too. They look, um, interesting. And they don't really look like eggs. It's hard to tell, because everything looks the same. I am gonna be real. I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna rest until I find you. Yes, I'll I remember that. And then. Point, I'm just clicking on everything. The mole guy in the door. No. I should probably do that though. Because I just thought he got Norton. Go oh, I guess. Mama Bosco. I respect her because she's smart, sassy, and semi transparent. True grit. Hey, oh my god. Can you open this door for us? Yeah, that's you very funny. Mold processing room, but it's a horrible place. Official business. Besides, it's for mole people only. Perfect. We're punk mole man. Odd. You don't look molish. By marriage. By well, marriage. <laughs> very well. I will try. Welcome. Do you ever have to read True Grit? I had to read it in high school. It was okay, Congratulations. but not my favorite. Prepare yourself for a fabulous off-world vacation, courtesy of General Sintabe. I'm very excited. Oh my God, it's how nine thousand. There are any doors? You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. Slight tingle. Cannot remove inventory. Where do you keep your personal items? That's none of your damn business, computer. Very well. Beginning mole man processing. Sam, why is the floor so slippery? For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Do you smell something burning? Sam, why haven't we ever seen any mole people come out of here? Enjoy the rest of your experience, and remember that your sacrifice is for the glory of General Sinkabe. Sacrifice? Are we going to die, Sam? Depends on whether we can think of a way out of this death trap, little buddy. Oh yeah, that Trigger it was a book. Did you not know that? Yeah, it, it's a book. It's um. Yeah, I mean they made it a movie. I think they actually made it oh, two no. movies. All my stuff is locked inside that container. Oh man, there is a movie in the, well, probably like an older one, and then the POV Sam and Max are socking grits. You gotta boil the extra liquid out. Can Max do anything right now? Actually. Okay, it's um, it's kind of boring, but I mean, it's, if you've seen the movie, it's basically Let's that go talk to Mama with some differences. I respect her because she's smart, sassy, and semi-transparent. 
Okay, so let's go get her shit back. I mean, because I think I read that junior year. Um, and out of all the, the books I read junior year, I think I liked Great Gatsby more. You know? I mean, but that, that one's just fun, because I love to bully rich people for their problems, you know? So that's all that that book is, is just making fun of how shitty rich people are sometimes. Okay, so we got all of our shit back. Kermit got. Oh, you bastard. Are you talking? <laughs> it took me a while. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then it hit me. Our conversation the other night. So. Kermit the Frog talking about the American Dream. God. So it keeps telling me to go talk to Mama Bosco, so I guess I need to go do. Actually, why am I. Okay, I'll just tell you. together okay i okay there are some things you can't make a mu muppet adaptation of because like they already have such dis distinct dis no hold on no 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 no. that's not how that works yeah you'd have to do new muppets so for something like if you think of like the muppet adaptations we already have it's stuff where like typically the characters don't have a like noticeable character design right so like uh like fucking christmas carol it's just some dudes you know it's just pe a bunch of people so it's easier to make those people just random muppets and then your main character who's like the most noticeable is just like a guy and even then you know Now, that I could fuck with, where everyone is people, but like Sam and Max are just Muppets. But they would have to be Muppets that look- that still look like Sam and Max. You can't just have Kermit the Frog pretending to be Sam, you know, cause that- that's not- <laughs> That's not- that's not Sam, that's Kermit the Frog. That's not the same thing. I don't know. That's just my pet peeve. Like, especially what we were talking about the other day, where you're like, Cats the Musical has Muppets. Well, Cats the Musical is supposed to look like cats. And Kermit the Frog is not a cat, he's a frog. I don't think there is a single cat character in the damn thing. You know? You could make Muppets that look like cats, but they're not fucking cats. That would be fun, though. Like, he, he's one of the, the puppets where you have, like, a dude in it walking around. And then Max is is not. He's just a he's just one of the regular like hand ones. That would be that would be fun though. Thanks for getting rid of those. I mean, I'm not wrong. What is that dimensional Are you calling me? I'm hold on. Exactly. I didn't know you were. Uh, I don't have Discord on. You expect me to just have Discord just actively on on my computer at all times, huh? It has to update first. It doesn't say that you're trying to call me. I think you're making shit up.
No, it, when does it say? It doesn't say that you're trying to call me. Just call me again. Here, I'll put this up here. God damn it. Okay. okay. So Hold on, you're not very loud. The first thing. Okay. Alright. Am I on speakerphone? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Okay, so first of all, you're right in that cats have a distinct look. But Cats the Musical stands with the, you know, uh, what's it, The Nightmare Before Christmas? That's not what it's called. The three Christmas Carol? Dancing. Yeah, the Christmas Carol. It stands with that, okay? It, like, goes with the great guests. It goes with Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> like, it's an iconic work of musical art, okay? And it is a cultural, like, I don't know about that. phenomenon. <laughs> no, it is phenomenon in its own right, which I think places itself in suitable, uh, a suitable category for Muppetization, okay? Possibly. Is, right, right? It's like saying Muppet the Evan Hansen. That's not God. appropriate at all. That's not appropriate at all. But it's like, it's a cultural phenomenon. Like Muppet Hamilton, or I don't know. Muppet, uh... Okay, I mean, I could kind of understand... I'm trying to think of iconic musicals no, I, I, that you could parody. I get it, I guess. I mean... Cats is in there. It's been there since the 80s. Sam and Max is older than Cats the Musical. Did you know that? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no joke. Because, like... I think, um... Because, like... Because te technically... If I'm remembering this correctly, the first, like, actual legit, like, comic run of the series came out in, like, 87. However, like, he was, like, drawing stuff for it since, like, 70s. Like, they've been there, you know? Like, Cats the Musical... Cats the Musical dropped in 1984. And I know... I know Sam and Max was, like, around in the 70s. So, yeah, no. <laughs> Sam and Max predates Cats. Okay, so then here's the real question... If you had to make, instead of Muppet versions, you had to remake Cats, but it was with Sam and Max characters. Oh. Or or vice versa, you could make Sam and Max with Cats characters, but I feel like it'd be funnier to put them in the Cats universe, you know? Oh my god, so. that would be so good. Um, let's see. <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? Um, I'm going to answer your question when you finish the season. <laughs> okay. That scares Listen, there's me. There's a lot of Jellicle cats. There's a lot of cats in the Jellicle clan. And there's a lot of fucking characters that you haven't met yet. Fair. I will say my um, hot my hot take is that Max will be, is McCavity because he's done every human crime. That's it. Ooh, I hold your tongue on that one. But... Fuck you. Yeah. I don't... No, hold on. You've got a long season ahead of you, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's worse criminals. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't actually give a shit about Cats the Musical. I'm gonna keep playing my damn game. Okay, what about Raptor Buggerdo? was trying to keep people from fighting? What? Yeah. Now, my money's still on the big screen thing. Stupid jackass. Well, it's worth a try. I built a remote control so you can open Max the gateway also a stupid anywhere. Jackass. It'll only stay open a few minutes, so you got Listen, do you expect you do me to know more Anybody cat characters than like the three? I know three. Right I know in. the magic Mistopheles one. I know the bad guy that's <laughs> making Idris Elba, and I know like fucking Judy Dench, and then that's it. I don't care about any of the other people. There's the railway cat that everyone loves. I don't care about any of the other ones. There's like eight billion of them. Okay. About you know how what? And works. I just think what it would be fun. Cat? Cat? Yeah, I, I fucking said the, the, the railway cat. I said that. I said that. Um, I don't remember his name. How am I? I'm 
sorry. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to remember the name Skimble Shanks? That's not a real word. That's not real. Shimble Shanks is not a real word. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in charge of writing the Webster's Dictionary. I look up Shimble Shanks. It's right there on page 60. It's not real! <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber was off the shits when he wrote all of those names! Good! Mama Basso told me something about needing a remote control. I wish I'd been paying attention. Do you think I fucking care about Mungo Strap? Oh, is that the guy that I thought was- Okay, no, I remember who that one is. That's the guy who I thought was- the guy from Twin Peaks, but it's not. It's just a guy who looks like the guy from Twin Peaks. Okay. You're distracting me from my damn game because she said something important and I completely missed what it was. Crime alert. Does anybody mind if I change the channel? Who's the one with the face, Cirilla? Nah, I've already seen it. Cool. <laughs> See you, Max. Keep in touch! Mama Boss told me something about needing a remote control. I wish I'd been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I say- did I say it that way? That's his name, right? I'm s- it's- what's his fucking name? What's his fucking name? Mungo Strap. Mungo Strap? I thought it was Mungo Strap. <laughs> what's the damn difference? What's the difference? It's a K sound. It's a K sound. That's the same thing. Oh my- God. It's basically the same thing. No, it's not. It's like Kimbo Shanks. It's Skimble. Skimble? I'm sorry, but it's a. It's not a good. Skimble. It's not a good sound. It's like. I'm putting it in chat so you can Mama see it with your eyes. Something about needing a remote control. Skimble Shanks. I wish I'd been paying attention. Skimble. Skimble Shanks. Monka. Monka. Try to get it. No, I see it. I just hate it. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for for sticking around. I appreciate it. Thank you. I had fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'd be enjoying myself if I knew what the fuck was going on and if I wasn't arguing about Cats the Musical. Cause. How about you pull? How about you pull up a walkthrough and give me hints instead of fucking t arguing with me about how to pronounce characters from fucking Cats the Musical? God damn! <laughs> I can't have a I can't have a normal conversation with you without it devolving into Cats the Musical e ethics. Absolutely ridiculous. It's something about a remote. I just don't know what that fucking means. Hold on. Um, oh wait, I have an idea.
better keep this. It could be an Mama Basso told me something about needing a remote God control. God damn it. Oh, be sneak this. All hail. Beast through destruction. This is nothing. I am like, I am at such a loss right now. I mean, I, I would absolutely love a... What's it called? I hate, because I'm just, I'm like a little bit... Oh! I have an idea. I love how Max, like, really scribbles on the notebook. That's adorable. Because I need two pieces of evidence. So just looking through like the, the notebook. Maybe the, note the notebook is actually pretty useful because that's uh, how Mama I got this idea. told me something about needing a remote control. I wish I'd been paying attention. Yes, I know. God. Y'all weren't kidding about him just talking constantly, huh? Because it, it said oh, he had to buy the engagement ring from somewhere, so maybe it's that. And that's what the receipt is. I better keep this. It could be an important clue in our case. Come on. Okay. Sunkate got this ring from somewhere. There we go. So I don't know what this is supposed to be telling me. This receipt's only got part of an address, but not the name of the store. This is pain. Oh, this is a pain. I can't read. Because this is working, but... The scanning part is, like, irritating. Oh wait, they're making a sound, okay. So that's not it. Now I'm realizing that they're making sounds. Um, let me try this and- Sunkate okay, got this ring from somewhere. No. Yeah, I mean, I, I would love a hint to the- Item not recognized. Stinky, yes, I know her. And Grandpa Stinky. Okay. Mm hmm. I do remember this. <gasps> oh! Mama Basso told me something about needing a remote control. I wish I gotcha. could pay attention. That's fun. Molehill. Mm. Oh yeah, that is a really weird uh, puzzle. Okay, let's talk to fucking Steve. Quick, traitors! Come on, Grandpa Stinky, let us in the Skunk Ape Army. As soon as we drop the weight, height, and competence. Take it back! I'd better get out of here before things get violent. <laughs> this is such a good angle!
Ah, uh, but there's only so many places they can teleport. Oh! So I let them fight. I go to the spaceship. And then Max teleports them in. Okay. Oh, but he just left! Wait, hold on. That's not right, because he just left. Gotta get the phone in there first. In the spaceship? Oh, that would make sense. Like, in the room? Or... So I have to get captured first and not take my items back. Okay. Let's, let's speed run this ending, because we're going on four hours and it's... I got this. Okay, fucking... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I kind of want to eat more candy, but like, I'm so sick of eating Rolos. Oh my god. I have like some chocolate covered popcorn left over from like birthday candy. But I think I only have one more. Welcome back. Yeah, I only have one more. Feel a slight tingle as we take your personal eye. There's still a lot. Oh. Or crying out. You better get out of here, Sam. My ultra powerful brain is starting so, to overheat. Is it really that much more? Yeah, I might have to do two, which sucks because I don't. I don't want to. I want to do it all in one go. Two hours? God damn, that's a lot. Ugh. Yeah, I don't blame you. I either should start start these earlier, or I just need to like. Best make this quick. Oh, do ya? That sucks. Okay. I'll probably take do a stopping point when I do do the finish this puzzle. Come on, Grandpa Stinky. Let us in the Skunk Ape Army. As soon as we drop the weight, height, and competency requirements, I'll get back to you. Take it back! I just my my one thing is I want to get all of these done before fucking. Uh, you better get out of here before things get violent. Max's teleportation you know, power is pretty cool. Out, but I just wish there weren't so much inappropriate This one's long. So the other ones aren't as long. It's just this one. I mean, hell, next one I could just finish this up. And if I... I, I don't know if I can do... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I might, um... I, I, I want to start maybe doing more, more, more of these a week, because I only have like, what, a month until... Your hands off me. No, I have like two weeks until June. Done. Welcome back. Thank you for bringing friends along to celebrate the benevolence of General Senkabe. You could, I could do that. Feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. No, it's whatever. No one's taking my but I like streaming it, it's fun. For the comfort of guests waiting outside, Please refrain from screaming or crying out. Abort for the love of Skunkape, abort! Voice print verified. Skunkape Army Sous Chef, 8th class. Processing aborted. Sous Chef, 8th class? After all I've done for that ungrateful monkey, he can keep his bloody hands on the peace button back. Looks like Grandpa Stinky's stuff got mixed in with all of mine. What has he got in his pocket? <laughs> his victory badge God. from Skunk Ape and Jackpot! A collectible shot glass from Mesa Pizza! Cool. Alright, 
yeah, I think I'm gonna deal with that. Well, I would assume I'd need it, otherwise they wouldn't mention it and put it in my inventory. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it, because it is one in the morning. Oh, fun fact. How do I save? Oh. I guess this is autosave. This is a really weird, um, there we go. Oh, for real? That's crazy. What? That's absolutely wild. I forgot your pictures of Grits was still on the screen! <laughs> uh, I think I still have, um, your- your ghost uh, Halloween costume on here somewhere. I don't know where it is. That's- that's wild, though. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. Hold on. Is it in random shit? I think I have a- I have, like, three- a bunch of folders. I think it's in that one. Because I have just a bunch of... Aww. I mean, it's okay. I still have the... I have this one. That will always be preserved. <laughs> God. I... I if I ever get to the point where I can have emotes, this will be the first emote. <laughs> Alright, good night. I'll probably do this later. I don't know. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Alright. I, I mean, absolutely, this will be my first one. Ghost trip emote. 